Hello, good morning. Oh, good morning. Hello, TJ. Anyone else that may be a lurking? Corb's here with a, um, a, a morning stream of Red Dead RP uh, as Albert Groves on the Wild RP server. Second, uh, second time playing on the server. Um, so let's let's jump on in, shall we? <laughs> It is just about to turn uh, 9 a.m. here on the on the east side of Australia, and it is a it is a mighty nippy morning. <laughs> oh my god! Got my UGG boots on. Got my dressing gown. <laughs> it's a bit cold. Oh, I keep forgetting that I isn't your inventory. It's B. I keep pointing at thing. I is point. Gotta have an apple for breakfast. So, so what's the plan today? So, um, further investigation in trying to get into contact with um, uh, the tr the transit authority to um, to hopefully end up doing some work as a train driver. Um, uh, I did follow, I did, yeah, I did that telegram. Um, but, uh, I reached out, oh. I reached out to, um, the support bot and they informed me that, um, the, the person that the, the deputy recommended is no longer in that position, so, um, <clears throat> there's someone else I need to, there's someone else I need to telegram, so I can do that, uh, and then, uh, this time tomorrow, there is, uh, open theatre auditions in game, <laughs> so, uh, I should be able to jump on for an hour or two and do that before I go and do IRL stuff, um, that should be really interesting. <laughs> hey, hey, TJ. Oh, why, yeah. you? Hi, yes, I am the uh, the entire country of Korea. How you going? <laughs> An easy typo to make. So that's the that's the main goal today is to let's get a telegram away. Can you believe Twenty three bucks. Let's get a telegram right away. Here. So maybe maybe by the end of today's session, um. I will have oh, heard back about starting a career with the Transit Authority, um, and might, uh, while in Saint Denis, might suss out, just see if anyone happens to be around or at the theatre or something that's got more information on the auditions tomorrow. Uh, just in case there's something in particular they're looking for, like do they? Do they want me to, do they want people to do like a monologue or improv? Like, I don't know. It's a little nerve wracking, but it should be funny. Uh, and then the other thing will be to, um, try and do some, cause we never ended up doing some of the, uh, chores on one of the ranches. Like we, we got some guidance on what to expect from butcher. But I didn't actually get the the time to do it myself. So yeah, if we're finding we've got free time, need something to do, head up, do some chores on a ranch, and see what happens. Um, but yeah, it's 9 a.m. here. I've got nothing on today, so um, I'll probably, at the very least, I'll play this until uh, lunchtime, and then I'll see how it's going. Maybe then I'll stop. Or, you know, if it's really popping off, might keep going and it'll be a almost like a a nine till five situation. Oh, we've got some people riding around. And I jumped on really briefly last night to to figure out these 
these emotes and stuff. So I've gone and favorited a bunch. Uh, like maybe this maybe this will be the the push I need to get a, a steam uh, not a steam stream deck. So I can just click a button to do this stuff. So you can select the walk styles, brawl style. Oh, where's the? Uh, oh no, you got to click it. So like I've got like like good day. Yeah, just little things like that. They just they just add to the uh, they add to it. So uh, I'm gonna try and just keep learning that. Is this yeah, this is where the telegrams are? I think. No? Oh. There's no trains running. Where's the... Oh, it's on, it's on the outside. Oh. Understood. Excuse me? Understood. Good day! Never mind. Let's go back and talk business. I'd like you. I don't like you. Oh, excuse me. Are we in the way? Oh, you're all right. I'm just patiently waiting. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a. Uh, there. Where was the? Just got to find the new telegram address and oh my god cheap viewers oh my god no way no way say it ain't so but goodbye i don't want cheap viewers be gone demon uh i need to uh else uh director elspeth edwards which is so let's add that. Name L Spurth Edwards. Yeah, uh, V U six one zero. Um Transit or Authority Director. Albert Groves Transit Authority Work. Uh wait, what's my what's my code again? VM. So I'll put that at the I'll put that at the bottom just so I can put kind of regards. Albert Groves. That's uh mine is VM eight zero eight. Um the director Um <laughs> I need more water To Director Edwards Edwards My name is Albert Groves. I recently arrived in your wonderful country from London, England. A dream of mine since I was a small lad was to work at the train yard. Train yard. But unfortunately, 
as time went on and the emergence of the London underground there was simply too much competition so I've traveled Travel out here to hopefully have better luck. If you have any work available, I would be greatly interested. That should be all right. All right, the telegram has been sent to hopefully get transit authority work. Good day. Or night, I should say. Uh, where's the... Wasn't there... The board is here, isn't it? Freight depot. What's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? Let's have a look. Tool pouches. Oh, that's right. It's like crates and stuff. Like, you take a bunch of stuff in one go. That's right. Job board. We'll, we'll take a quick look at the job board just in case there's something easy. Oop. Well, there's a lot of people popping through. I think I saw before I booted up the server, I think there's like 160 people on or something. It was like... And it can go up to 190. Now, I imagine... Like, I wonder how did that butch, butcher guy learn know about the theater audition so I would imagine that there's a notice or something about it oh shit uh Oh no, it's a private investigator. What's the crimson line? Firearms? No. Clothing. Food. Pawn shop. Reporter. Hair? Yes. Stable. Gardening. Um. <coughs> I need more water. I need to be drinking my water. So cold. So early in the morning. <coughs> I'm not used to... I don't usually stream at this time. I'm, not, I'm a sleep-in kind of guy. Excuse me, miss. I hate to bother you, but if you had a moment, I wouldn't mind asking a question when you're when you're free. Oh, excuse me, miss. Would you would you happen to have a moment for a question? I was just wondering um, if you could point me in the direction of the local theater. Oh, yeah, it's uh, next, actually not that far away. Uh, come, come, come this way. We actually have two theaters here in town. One's quite small, though. Would you happen to know which one is holding the open auditions tomorrow? Oh, it's, that's probably the bigger one. Ah, of course.
Very kind of her to show me the way. So if you go up this road here, yes. keep going. At the second street, let's see, one, two, the second street on the left, if you, if you go left, it'll be, uh, be down in the corner. And that's the, the large theater? Yes, it's the large one. Yes. And just so I don't get confused, where would the small one be? Um, just actually right here on the right. Oh, easy. Oh, thank you very much, Miss. I appreciate the time. Thank you very much for your help. I'll go investigate now. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you, Miss. Have a lovely evening. You too. Very kind of her. That's very polite. Thank you very much. No, he's bucking it down. It's not helping me feel warmer in real life. A riddle? Visions of gold and explosions of powder. Halfway between is some fresh chowder. Tick, tick, ticking away flies the hour. Oh. Just check. To see if, um... Yeah, it wouldn't be. It's, yeah, it's more like a, more like a cinema. A cinema. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do 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 do. What if you can get an umbrella? Can you walk around with an umbrella? That'd be neat. Let's try that one. Does that one fit Albert Groves more? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... Yeah, it's a... I'm, I'm going somewhere, but I'm also kind of lost kind of walk. I'm like, oh dear, where the bloody hell am I going? I have no bloody idea. Yeah, I'd be very interested to see if you can get an umbrella. That'd be just a, a nice little, a nice little detail. <laughs> yes, that's it, TJ. Wandering around aimlessly with a purpose. Like a, a fish out of water. Down to the theatre. Here we are, the local theatre. Is there a... Here we go, is this it? Welcome, citizens of Saint Denis, to the theatre. How do you pronounce that? Ralu? The grand stage that has captivated hearts and minds for generations. Home to the illustrious actress Rose Bessinger? Bessinger? I'm not sure. And esteemed director Sir Dickie White. This theatre is where the magic of storytelling comes to life, and the finest performances take centre stage. Step inside and let the art of theatre inspire and enchant you. I can't remember what he s said the the new theatre group is called. Like that might be it. I'm just wondering how he knows about the auditions. Like, is it just word of mouth? Like, I really would think there's a maybe this. Nope. I'm not seeing any other notes. Let's have a. 
Let's have a look around just to see if there's any... Oh. What do we got here? What? <laughs> Hello. There doesn't seem to be anyone in here. Not seeing any notes. Unless what? <laughs> like what if? Right. Dare I say that what if um you know, the the butcher guy's like, yeah, 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 there's open auditions at at the at the theater at like 9 a.m. on this day. Yeah, yeah, you should go. And then it's just it's just I'll get there and there's no theater thing on. It's just to to rob me. Oh hack. Like what if it is what if it what if there is no Auditions. What if it's just a trick? Yeah, no, I, I'm not seeing any notes or anything. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Well, um, give it some time till I hear about the, um, hopefully you get a telegram back about the transit authority, I suppose. Until then, let's, um, let's head on down. We'll rent a wagon again, just because I think I'll, I think I'll play it where, um, someone will have to teach old Albert how to, um, how to ride a horse. Because he's coming from London, he's, he's, he would, I doubt he'd ever ridden one. Uh, how much money I got on me? Yeah, $25. Yeah, I got enough for one. And if we can get some ranch work done, then at least then, uh, we'll make a little bit of a profit. Go through, uh, go through roads on the way. <coughs> Maybe see if anyone there has got any information. Bom, 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 bom. No, no, we never ended up. We never ended up doing anything with the woody scented perfume. Um, a few people suggested that it's. Um, yeah, you gotta craft it. It's like you need uh, sleep well tonight. like uh, some alcohol, and I think you need like a. I don't know, a bottle or something, and then but then it's like, it like, what else do you combine it with? People like I think someone said like wood shavings. They're like I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. So um, until we learn more about the uh, the jobs in the towns, we will we will go do um, we will go do the um, the ranch jobs because that seems pretty straightforward. Dun, 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 dun. But I did see on that job board before, there was a lot of like, need a crate of 10 oranges here and a crate of 10 oranges there. And I think, I think from memory, uh, outside Saint Denis, there is like an area where you can go pick oranges. So I'm assuming you'd go pick the oranges from there and then you'd get a crate from the freight depot. 
and then you know, put them together and then take them where they need to go. Good day. Dawn. Pardon? What said how you doing? Oh, uh, I'm going fine. Yes. How are you doing? A bad. A bad. <laughs> you, uh, you looking for something? Oh, I was just uh, coming to uh, rent a, a small wagon again. I'm going to head up and try, uh, try my luck at some ranch work today until I hear back from some telegrams. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Give me, give me 20 seconds. I'll be out of your uh, way. No, no rush. I'm not in a rush at all. Please take your time. Oh, it's no problem. No problem. I just, uh, just gotta move a cr that crate right there to a different wagon of mine. You wouldn't happen to be carting around oranges, would you? Uh, no, no, I would not. Why? You need oranges? Uh, well, not exactly. I was just looking at what jobs are available here in town, and there's a lot of, uh, Emphasis on oranges being delivered via crate around the around the province and uh, I just I've had very little luck with the small jobs so far. Uh, I tried one the other day which required a woody scented perfume and I certainly have no idea where to bloody well find that. Sure, sure. Yeah, can, can I help you with something? Uh, we just see you got a wagon out when you got a moment. That's oh yeah, no problem. Get a, get a oh, good day. Gentleman's gonna give the best of his own. <laughs> <laughs> um, food, food. Ah, right. Yes. There it is. Be right back. Thank you. Well, uh, well I guess you, I guess you're waiting for them to get theirs. Then, then you could grab yours. Oh no, that's all right. I'm a patient fellow. I, I recently arrived by boat from England, so I'm still learning the ins and outs of this country and and the comings and goings. So it's a good opportunity for me to see how everything works. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, it's uh, only a process. It's going to take a lot, uh, a lot to get used to. Yes, yes, but that's right. I've had a, an awful lot of help so far. A, a, a fellow was helping me learn how to work on the ranch the other day, and I met a, a lovely young deputy who helped me out up in Valentine. It's been a, it's been good. Uh, but I, I was just wondering as well, sir, would you happen to know about the? Uh, I've heard there's open auditions for the theatre tomorrow. Would you happen to know anything about that? I have, I have. Is that just, uh, it's, it's around this time, uh, tomorrow, right? Uh, I believe something like that. And would you happen to know, do they, do they want someone to, uh, with the audition, do you, do you dance, do you sing, uh, I have oh, no idea me, how it works. No, I got two left feet. Oh. But, uh, oh, in the, in the, in the theater, I, I would assume something of that nature. Oh, you wouldn't happen to know... Any of the, uh, just, uh, I'd love to try and get in contact with someone from there. Yeah, from, I, could, from their... I could help you with that. Yeah, sure. Oh, if it's no trouble, just, yeah, I wouldn't mind just getting a bit of a, uh, just an understanding of what to expect, because I've never done anything like that before in my life. I've no, no idea what I'm doing. Sure, yeah, I mean, I could help you with that. Yeah. I know, uh, I think I'm pretty sure if you're talking about the one I'm thinking of, I, uh, I know who you're talking about. So I could get a hold of them for you. I give you the telegram, and you can get a hold of them. Oh, that would be that would be splendid. <laughs> the accent, his accent. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. So I'll leave you. Uh, you know, you can rent your wagon. Maybe we'll take a ride down to the, uh, the telegrams. Sounds good. Uh, I'll just be one moment. <laughs>
Bum, 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 bum. Here we are. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. I'll, uh, I'll grab my horse, I'll follow you. No problem. I <laughs> hope <laughs> he's not gonna rob me. <laughs> you know, stick him up. How fast do you want me to go? <laughs> Please, sir, can you get me in touch with the theater people? Yeah, come on, just this way, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll help you. For a price. <laughs> Wise guy, huh? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Back, I needed to get it out of my hands while I was carrying some things. I really appreciate you taking the time to help me with this. Oh, yeah, I mean, I am always willing to help somebody out if they need it. A bum, 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 bum. Okay, um, you want to take a look there? I'll tell you the telegram of the person to get a hold of. Sure. All right. It'll be MW525. MW525. That's right. Yeah. Tell her, uh, tell her Vito, Vito sent you to, uh, be a part of a theater club. Vito sent? And, uh, what's her name? Natalia. Natalia. Oh, thank you very That's much, right. Mr. Vito. Appreciate it. My, my name is uh, Groves, uh, Albert Groves. Albert, good to meet you. Good to meet you. I tell you what, I'm sure you're going to need some money around here. Maybe I could help you out with that. There's always things needing being done around. Uh, I don't know how much of a barman you might be, but there's a few other things that could always be done. As long oh, as you're not scared of some labor. Oh no, no, I, I would work uh, work carriages and such back in London, so yeah, I'm not a stranger to some hard work, and I'm definitely open to whatever this wonderful country has to offer. Oh, well, fantastic, then uh, I'll, uh, I'll grab your telegram then. Not a problem. Let me, uh, it, mine is uh, VM808. Hey, remind me how to spell your last name. Gro uh, so Groves, uh, G R O V E S. Groves, <laughs> alright, fantastic. <laughs> alright, well, I got you in there. I'll, uh, I'll send you a telegram here soon. I'll try to get you set up as soon as possible. I, um, I got a bit of a produce order I gotta pick up. No, understandable. Take your time. I'll, yeah, I'll be up uh, trying my luck at Ranch. Ranch work in the meantime, but I really appreciate your help, Mr. Vito. It's a wonderful. 
Absolutely, no problem. It's no problem. Well, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go deal with that, and good luck, uh, you know, Bona Fortuna, with, uh, with your, your ranch work. And, uh, watch yourself while you're out there, just to be safe. Will do. Thank you. Hopefully talk to you soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, well, you take care. Have a lovely day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like, yeah, the more we the more we speak to Vito, TJ, it's like, is this guy mafia? What is it, Bonfortuna? Mum, it's like, yeah, I think this guy is uh, he might be connected. So Natalia, <laughs> MW, oh, five two five, um, theater. Auditions. To Natal. Yeah. My name is Albert Groves. Hey, how are you feeling? Fresh off the boat from London, England. Are you alright? I'm sorry, your voice is a little bit raspberry. <clears throat> I. Right into London, England? Hello? Hello? Yes, are you alright? Oh, sorry, just uh, thinking aloud while I write a telegram about the theatre auditions. Auditions? Is it for the Patrician Theatre? Or here in Saint Denis? I, I believe here in Saint Denis, uh, around this time tomorrow morning. Oh, I didn't hear about that. What, what's the performance? Okay. Well, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I was just speaking to a uh, the other day a a butcher uh, up at uh, Emerald Ranch, and uh, he seemed to take a liking to my to my voice. So he recommended. He told me, he said, Albert, there's a smashing open theater audition. Uh, this uh, Saturday morning, 9 a.m., uh, you should go. I said, well, I've never bloody done anything like that before in my life. And I think he said something along the, you know, along the lines of, well, there's always a first time for everything. So, um, but you make a good point. I think it's at the St. Denis Theatre, but I don't know if I actually got confirmation. Oh, well, they, at least they were still looking out for you. So hopefully you do do well with that little audition then. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, will you be looking to audition yourself? Well, shucks, I don't think I'm going to be awake that early to even consider it. It's four. I'm going to be getting my baby dressed. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. It's quite early for me as well. It's going to be a. I'll make a a, a, a special occasion of it. I think. Mhm. Mm yeah, I am going to be in that Romeo and Juliet though. Oh, tell gosh, that actually reminds me. Oh, I need to send telegram. Oh. Oh um, dear. A performance of Rome and Juliet. When is this taking place? It's going to be on Monday, the 16th. Uh, they're already selling tickets. That's why I need to make sure I reserve one. I forgot. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. So Rome and Juliet. Monday, the 16th. Uh, what time will that be? Five o'clock. Yes. 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern, is it? Yes. Oh, if I've got the time, I'll definitely pop along and take a look. Didn't know I was talking to an actor. Hey, I do try my best. This is only my second big stage production, if I'm being honest. Oh, what was your first one? It was called The Proposal. And were you, were you, were you the, the lovely young lady getting proposed to in this? Yes, actually. Oh, splendid. What do you, do you have any advice for someone going to his first audition tomorrow? Any tips? Well, if, if I had to give myself one tip, it would be to slow down. So I feel like that's always helpful. If you take your time, you deliver it spot on. Right. Slow and down. listen for their critiques, too. Oh, goodness. I'm a bit nervous for that. But I suppose how, how else would we get better without a bit of constructive criticism? Exactly. And sometimes they'll have you read it again. 
I know that the Patrician Theater over by Miss Bonnie Gray, they are going to be doing some as well. Would you? Uh, I was speaking to a, a, a gentleman just now, a Mr. Vito, and uh, I was asking him about these auditions, and he told me to telegram a Natalia. Does that name mm -hmm. ring a bell with you? Yes, that's Miss Vito. She's actually putting on a production for Remy and Juliet. Oh, good. So it is. A, it is a. Uh, it is an actual contact. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just a little nervous that some people might be uh, pulling my leg. I definitely do understand. But no, she is legitimate. She uh, She's a good composer, too, if you appreciate music. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get this telegram to her right away, just to so there's no surprises. I'm ready to go tomorrow. Fingers crossed for you. Uh, let's write this up real quick. So, I understand, uh, um, so she would have heard me whenever I click the, uh, the end key. Because that's the push to talk button. Every time I would have written that letter, she would have heard me. Whoops, I gotta keep that in mind. MW525, uh, theatre, or... Auditions, um, to Natalia. My name I gotta remember what mine is. What's mine? VM808? Yes. There we go. A telegram has been sent to Miss Natalia. Now, now to wait. Thank you very much yes, for your... I Thank you very much for your advice, Miss. I really appreciate it. Yes, of course. Fingers crossed for you. They're doing all kinds of productions. There's a few of them that they're already pre-planned. So I feel like you're going to have your space wherever it be. Oh, wonderful. Well, I might be seeing you around the old theatre here and there. But uh, my name's uh, Groves. Albert Groves. Albert Groves. Oh, nice video. My name's Oni Olivier Bourgeois. If I'm being honest, I don't normally have so much hairspray in my hair or anything like that. Oh. I'm trying something out for the room. Oh no, <laughs> it's very, it's it's quite a lovely do. <laughs> oh thank you. It took so long trying to curl this hair up, but you know, all for the sake of the theaters. <laughs> oh yes, I imagine so. You know, there's no uh, uh, what's the expression? No pain, no game. I guess. Yes, yeah, true. You got good head on your shoulder, Mr. Groves, right? Mr. Groves, yes, yes. No, I, uh, you know, just. Humble work back in London, you know, just this and that, and you know, I would not have dreamed of uh, becoming a, a, you know, auditioning for the theatre. I've I've just been very persistent on uh, trying to find work with the Transit Authority. I have a dream of one day being a train conductor. But uh, yeah. you may not be deputy bureau, are you, project. Oh, pardon. I was asking if he might have been someone I was looking for. Oh, good day, sir. Uh -oh. How are you? 
I'm not too bad myself, just uh, trying to get some telegrams out, let's get some information so I could find some work. Good. I can't, I can't really I hear it. I do apologize. Uh, you won't happen to be Deputy Romeo, huh? No. Okay, but I do apologize. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I hope you're having no. a good day. I'm having a great day. I'll have tea. Oh. Mr. Groves, right? Yes. I'll leave you still. But it is nice seeing you. I'm going to have to go. Uh, well, I should probably get me a cup of glass of water. But I need to go meet with a client. Oh, no. Please have a lovely day. Thank you for your. Uh, thanks for the, the lovely little conversation. And yes, hopefully I'll see you around the theatre soon. Yes, fingers crossed. I'll see you soon. No worries, miss. Have a lovely day. Alright, theater telegram has been sent. And what did she say? She's she's actually playing, um... <laughs> she's actually playing Juliet. Are they doing a production? Like, do they do a full... Like, do they do the full play? Like, from start to finish, in-game? That's, if they do the whole thing, that's wild, dude. That's, that's like, that is a big effort. I'm very intrigued. But I think, she, I think she said she's actually playing Juliet. That's very cool. I didn't catch her name. I'm going to have to go back through, I'm going to have to go back to, through the bod and, um, and listen again. I, I was like, Oni? Ori? And then like. Something, it sounded French? I didn't catch it. I may need to adjust my audio. Uh, so yeah, we'll head up to the ranch. Uh, try and do some ranch work, but on the way we'll go through roads, because yeah, we heard a lot about the parlor. And see what we find. it's better sometimes for me to learn like remember people's names if I see it written out because then it's like a bit of a visual learner so then it's like I can see it in my brain whenever I need to so what was it uh maybe maybe I can find the name in the discord did you catch it TJ was it Not sure how to spell spell it. I'll have to look later. That's alright, I'll look later. No, you're right, you're alright, TJ. You're alright. Not a problem. Lots of people around today. Oh, why is the card veering over?
now have to do the time given. So she, so she said that yeah, the, the production of Roman and Juliet is on Monday the 16th at 5 p.m. God knows what time that is for me here in Australia. That's probably when I'm at work, or it's probably when I'm asleep. I'd probably try, TJ. I'd probably try. Oh, also, sorry, Texman. Thank you for the follow two minutes ago. Sorry, I only just, um... I only just saw that. Thank you. Howdy, partner. Um, I'd probably try, TJ, just to see... Just to see what it's like. Like, what goes into, a, like, a stage play in RP. And, you know, Romeo and Juliet's a pretty iconic one, so that'd be a good one to see. Take a look at the parlor. See if there's anyone here. Is it Butcher that said he works here? a second-hand furniture store. You'll have to help yourself. Nobody's working the bar. Oh, that's certainly all right. I'm just taking a look around. I've heard wonderful things about this parlor. What's your name? Uh, Mr. Groves. Uh, Albert Groves. Hi, Albert. I'm Olivia. I generally work here, but I'm off right now. Oh, no, that's all right. Nice to meet you, Miss Olivia. I'm just uh, passing through. I'm heading north to do some, uh, try my luck at some ranch work while I wait to hear back from some telegrams. Ranch work? Yes, I... I think you're going to need a different outfit for ranch work. This isn't suitable? This... I've always worked in an outfit like this back in London. Did you do ranch work in London? Oh, certainly no. No, I worked, um, with the carriages and the wagons, taking things from point A to point B. Brent, I reckon you take your jacket off and get too hot, roll up your sleeves up, you should be fine. I'm definitely not intending on doing any rolling and round in any mud or anything. I'm trying to, try to remain as upright as possible. Well, don't get too close to the goats. They may kick you right into that mud. Oh, you say, hey, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Butcher introduced me to the, the naughty goat oh. that... Um, bothers the chickens. Oh, we both know Mr. Butcher. Is he around? 
Oh, this was a couple of days ago. He um, he was the one that actually showed me how to do the chores around the ranch, and he actually recommended popping through here sometime to uh, maybe uh, take up some casual work in the future as well. What kind of work you want to do here? Bartending? Bath giving? Oh, look, I would... Beggars can't be choosers in, uh, at the moment. Um, I'm still... I would love to be a train conductor one day, but uh, I have not received a response yet. A train conductor? Yes, I've always had a deep fascination with steam locomotives since I was a small lad up in England. Um, my father and I would ride the train into the city, and it was the highlight of my day. You should speak to Mr. Flood. He uh, headed a transit. Mr. Flood? Which you have Mr. Flood. I'll make a note of that. Mr. Yeah. Flood. And, uh, yeah, so, so is Miss Olivia. And what was your name, sir? Oh, the name's Hatchlock. H.H. H. Hatchlock at your service, sir. Ah, pleasure to meet you both. And uh, it's nice to meet some people that are very reminiscent of back home. It's, uh, I feel like a fish out of water here. Well, we try to keep things a tad bit classy here in the, in the roads, and especially the parlor house. Oh, I see. Well, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, you know, I'm, my first uh, point of contact is, yeah, hopefully uh, seeing to the transit authority. But, yeah, if I find myself with some time, I'll definitely uh, happy to raise my hand to do any work around here. Oh, you, uh, you don't fancy giving anyone any baths, do you? Because that is a service that is provided. <laughs> I can't say I've ever given anyone other than myself a bath to date. Mm. <laughs> so limited experience in that avenue, I understand. Very limited, very limited. But I'm happy to happy to learn anything and give anything a red hot go. Well, there you go, Miss Olivia. You don't have to tell Mr. Kitty about this fella here. He's all ready to do whatever the hell y'all need. <laughs> Yeah, looks like you're ready to go. Do you have Miss Kitty's telegram number? I do believe I saw it here on the uh, the menu. Um, I was very distracted by the uh, the listing of fish and chips, but I did see that there was a kitty listed there. there there's also a note here um, of the Nine Lives uh, hiring. Uh, they need chefs and security. And there's a telegram uh, well, right there. We don't need security she probably needs to update oh. that but we do need people for baths and bartenders oh i, I guess there's still a in. telegram though in yeah there, that's true. so we could use that not a worry i'll i'll uh i'll get a uh, make a note of that and i'll get in contact with mm -hmm. this miss kitty about potentially giving some baths i think i'd be more qualified for that than anything else uh, unfortunately i don't have mr flood's telegram no more i done lost it that's why i give you his information but uh, I'm sure plenty of people have it. Uh, he's fairly well known, so I'd ask around if folks know Mr. Flood. Oh, that's all right. I, I appreciate whatever information people can give me. I'm very appreciative of as someone new to this wonderful country. I, I, it's been, the kindness of strangers has certainly ensured I have not been led astray. How long have you been here? Oh, just a couple of days, Miss. Just a couple of days. You uh, welcome. yeah, welcome. You you laying your head down here in Rhodes or elsewhere? I think I will be uh, with the the reception I've received here. I've just been a uh, bunking in Saint Denis. He was the the best port uh, as a because I I had caught the train from London up to Liverpool, and then it was a steamboat across from uh, Liverpool to Boston, and of course down south here, and then they dropped me off in Saint Denis, and that's all I've really known so far. But Rhodes seems quite lovely. Been one hell of a boat ride getting here, I reckon. If I'm not mistaken, it's about five days. Good, the boredom was atrocious. Very glad to stretch my legs again. Oh, boredom better than uh, the sea coming, taking uh, some of your ship apart halfway through. Oh yes, there was a there was a couple of waves and oh goodness, sir. The waves took him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More like the shadows, because it's really dark. Is he an actor? The wind. Mm. Nobody should be, shouldn't he? 
Yes, uh... Door just, just hiding right there, and we just had no idea. He's a master of deception. Oh, well, let me get it. Let me get That it. means keep him on your side. Hi, Vincent. Hi, Miss Olivia. Um... How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I, have... I very much like this outfit of yours. Oh, thank you. I put it on today. Oh, my, my grandmother embroidered it for me. What did... <laughs> The accents are so good. That's a very nice grandma. Very talented grandma you have. Um, anyway, I do... I have a little gift for you. Taco Ooh. Tuesday! I may or may not have... It's, it's fresh. I made a trip to... To Wapiti and... Completely unloaded into a particular animal, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm very excited about this. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure you got it fresh. Oh, it's just her name. It's a uh, kitty. Uh... It, it was. It was nothing. It was. It wasn't difficult at all. Although meat in a gift box is um. I, 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 it's a choice. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you? Uh, would, you don't want pocket lint on it, right? <laughs> That's true. I this might be Kitty's telegram. I mean, I do feel, <laughs> feel. Let's make a note of that. Roads. Putting a bow on a box with meat in it, but you know, it's just. Parla. Oh, yeah, it, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, it no. was, I GD. Your gifted meat at any time. Six seven one. Oh, thank you so much. You're so generous. <laughs> I love the accents. It was, it was, you know, it was nothing. I, I was, uh, just riding around and, and then we want to look so for to come across such a Mr. Majestic Flood. Animal. And in, in passing, my the goodness, thought came, oh, Olivia wants, wants this and would like this. And, it, you know, it was, I, I didn't go out of my way at all. Not at all. Not, mm -hmm. not, not at, at all. all. No, I'll make some meat pies or something and, uh, I'll feed you. Oh, I, I would very appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mishka, have you met Vincent? No. But Hattie. Uh, hello, hello there. Uh, yeah, my name is Vincent Russo. I, uh, I, I don't have any titles <laughs> or a job to properly, you know, add to that. But, you know. No, that's all right. Um, my name is Mishka. I'm a, I'm a musician. Um, He's a meat finding extraordinaire. I mm -mm. sure. It seems like you like to handle your meat, so. Mm. Uh, That's an art. Well, he's given it to me to handle now. Mm. Well, Goodness gracious! Good. I'm gonna gobble it right up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, uh, just uh, uh, yeah, just <laughs> enjoy, I suppose. I'm sure she'll enjoy your lovely meat. Jesus Christ. Hi there. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some fresh air, but what a meat. Bye, Vincent. Don't excuse me. Hi. Hi. Good day to you, Miss Olivia. Nobody's actually working the bar. If you want something, you can help yourself. Uh, wonderful. Don't mind if I do. How are you, Mr. Hatchlock? I'm doing fine, Mr. Shea. Guess you uh, heard I did a little your business deal with Mr. Alex. Miss Olivia, thank you very much for the introduction mm -hmm. here. Um, I'm, I've uh, taken a note of uh, certain bits of information, and I'll be in contact with this Miss Kitty in the near future, but I, I best be on my way up to the ranch. Good, good. I hope to see you again then. Thank good you very much, ma'am. Have a lovely evening. Yes. You I too. Look how it's, <laughs> it's uh, sometimes it's fun to just um uh, listen in on people and and just let them just let them be and just see what happens. But that's nice. So, Mr. Hatchlock, and I didn't catch her last name. Was it, uh, Olivia. So they seem to be uh, some prominent, some prominent people here in the small town of Rhodes. Um,
Getting a lot of leads on things, which is exciting. Um... I love the way they're like, ranch work? Dressed like that? I'm like, what? <laughs> I was wondering when someone would be like, why are you wearing that when doing ranch work? I was sort of approaching it like, Albert wouldn't really know any better. It's just like, he's always been, you know, his lifestyle has always been, you know, dress up nicely. <laughs> yeah, that might be something I do when it's quiet. <laughs> Dude, Albert gives baths. Like, oh, come on in there, splish splash. Let's get you squeak clean, eh? <laughs> That's not something I foresaw. <laughs> I wonder what the pay is like. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! And I'll, I'll if um if he does end up giving any baths, it'll definitely be um, it'll be like he's really bad at it. Like he's always accidentally like, like nipping them and that, like accidentally pinching them. Like I'm sorry. And like, or he's like really rough with it. Like he's. Very bad at it. Yo, parrotfish! I I have. This is my uh, this is my second session as Albert Groves, dreaming of becoming a train conductor. I did um I did a little session the other night, just to um like a, a test to make sure everything was working, and um and yeah. So today I was like, all right. So Saturday during the day. Um, I was like, I reckon I can go from 9am because that's when, like, there's like 160 people on the server right now. Last I saw. Because, uh, yeah, you got all the, like, uh, all the overseas people are on. Um, finding lots of people, which is exciting. Um, but, yeah, I figured over the next few weeks I'm going to try out uh, just play as Albert Groves, who's mostly, he's pretty much a, uh, just a civilian. Just to, you know, get my bearings and and all that and then maybe after maybe after october uh maybe i'll make a, a law character or a or a park ranger or i don't know we'll see but i figured oh, let's just start simple but i oh, it's yeah the man the myth the legend look albert groves is no george hughes but um we've had some funny interactions so far and people i i think are enjoying the voice and uh, we're lined up to hopefully get in contact with someone from the Transit Authority. Uh, going to be going along to theatre auditions tomorrow. We've just had a... Uh, told that, you know, they need someone to give baths at the Rhodes Parlour. Um, a fellow taught me how to do ranch work. So, yeah. Lots of, um... We'll see what happens. It's, 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 it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, TJ. Wish Flash will be taking a bath. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm loving the, the the people I've met so far. Like, there's been some really great characters. Some really great, like, the, I love the, like, some really great accents. I'm enjoying it so far. It's a nice, slow burn so far. Uh, it feels like a good pace for me. Oh, are you going to give it a go? Well, Leah, yeah, look, like, I'm considering, like, just seeing how it goes. But yeah, after, um, after PAX and South by Southwest in Sydney in October, I may, you know, I might, I might remake Hughes. And, um, like, the, the Wild RP version of George Hughes. And, um, and go for... And go for law, and but I might if I I've been thinking if I do remake him, I might make it because like I had George Hughes on Diablo, he was like thirty, early thirties, and he's sort of been around a bit. If I remake Hughes, I'd probably make him like early twenties, like 
like when he was like really fresh faced. Like he might not even have a beard at that point. Like he might be just, you know, a real, you know, everything's new. Like there's no past trauma or anything. That's, that's what I'm considering, but we'll see. We'll see. I have met one deputy so far. I met uh, Sawyer Blake. He was really friendly, really polite, um, really helpful. Um, and from what I saw, I was watching the stream of someone else on the server and another Australian uh, earlier in the week. Uh, Just Sam, I think their name is. Um, and they were playing as a deputy, I think, with a couple of others. And they all seemed really just nice, nice people. Um, like I said, it just, it feels like there's a real slow burn, which would be, which would be nice. But it would be really cool to see a familiar face. Well, familiar in one sense. Um, of course it would be, and then again, it would be, um, it would be meeting the character for the first time. Again. But f familiar in a player sense. Because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anyone directly on the server. Unlike, other than the people I've met so far. A couple of cows are out. We got a couple of oh, a bunch of people. Splish splash! I was taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. Good day. Maybe just here? A little dog. And the fellow... Roll down sleeves. Roll up sleeves. There we go. Yeah, the fellow recommended I, you know, jack it off. Roll up the sleeves. <laughs> well, let's do some bloody ranching, eh? There's that damn goat. Oh no, all the jobs are gone! All the jobs are gone! Bruh. Oh man. Because <laughs> there's always there's so many people on, so all the jobs are taken. Um, uh, damn! Oh no! Oh no! Well... Shit. Good day! Hello? Hello, I said Marawi. Oh, is is that good morning? It is. Uh, it is hello in Comanche. Oh right. Oh, I, I do apologize. I'm very, uh, extremely new here. I'm fresh off the boat from uh, England. Oh, well, welcome to the crossing. 
Thank you very much. It's been a, it's been lovely so far. Um, are, are, uh-huh. are you taking part in some ranch work today? Yes, we are. I think the board is a little clean right now. Yes! But, uh, they will either bring out some new jobs soon, or if you are looking for more ranch work like this, you can always check McFarlane's ranch. Similar work. Oh, okay. Right. Another ranch. Yes, yes. A uh, fellow I spoke to the other day did mention that. Uh, I can do that. Uh, um, how long would... Uh, if I was to wait around just to see if more work popped up, how long would you recommend waiting? Eh, I actually <laughs> don't have it down to a good science on when the farmer brings out more jobs around here. Um, so... Maybe you can wait another... 15 to 20 minutes, and if he if he has not posted more jobs, I would say it's going to be a minute. <laughs> yes. Well, that's that sounds that sounds reasonable. Well, well, thank you very much. Sorry. Anyway, uh, my name's uh, 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 Groves, uh, Albert Groves. My name is Wahaya. It means burning gaze. Oh goodness, Wahaya. Yes. Goodness, there's there's definitely a variety of names here. It's back in back in London. It's a lot of you know, John. And, and Brian, Richard, it gets <laughs> quite repetitive. America, the melting pot, they say. Yes, I'm very excited. Well, I'm just here to try my hand at some, some ranching I've been recommended while I wait for a, hopefully a telegram back from the Transit Authority. Huh, the, uh, the ranch work is probably some of the simplest work you're going to get uh, in the crossing. It's straightforward. It is all here. Uh, a lot of the jobs and the jog boards will send you very far and wide to do tasks that don't pay you much. I will say that simply. I was a little confused by... Uh, I, tr- I attempted one the other day, which uh, I was required to deliver some woody-scented perfume to a ranch. But I, I could confidently say I have never purchased perfume before in my life. I would not know. I had no idea what I was doing. Ah, uh, the perfume and things like this are especially difficult because you have to make it. <laughs> and even I do not know how to make this thing. I don't you think I've ever find... made a thing in my life apart from beans on toast. Ah. Uh, you have to know uh, who to ask around here, unfortunately, for things like this. Um, there are, like, hunting jobs that are good money and simple to do because they don't care if it's a beautiful pristine buck or just one that you found <laughs> as long as you, you deliver it they will pay oh god i've never done any hunting would you would you believe me if i told you i've never never handled a firearm before in my life i've never even ridden a horse really Never in a in a well in in London it was just simply uh, you know wagons and carriages and whatnot. Uh, uh, people yes. would get around on foot. I could see this, from what I've been told. England is quite quite a size smaller than America. <laughs> yes, no, I, I I feel very very small here, and everyone's riding around on horses, and I just I've never never learned. Oh, well, it is never too late. No, I, I, uh, I met a, a, a very polite young deputy the other day, and they, they suggested I, they may have some time uh, sometime soon to teach me, which would be good. So, I'm, good. But, so until then, I'm just trying to keep myself busy. Maybe uh, while I've been distracted, is anything... I was going to say, let's see if he brought more jobs. Oh, he has. Oh, oh, wonderful. Help tend to animals. Um, let's tend to the animals. Tending to the animals sounds nice and relaxing, right? Yes. Where are the boys? So we let them know there is work. Where did they go? Is that them oh. over in the, uh, the, chi- the, the chicken coop? The chicken coop? Yo, Pope. 
I'm back as Albert Groves on Wild RP. All is definitely better. How you going? The foreman has posted more work. That's good. So if you two are still looking to stay busy. Hello there. I just finished with my round of jobs. Huh? Who might you be? Good day. My name is uh, Groves. Albert Groves. Here to try my hand at some ranch chores. All right, then. Well, there are plenty to be done. Have you uh, picked up a work no notice from the foreman? I have. I'm, I'll be helping out uh, tending to the animals. I figured that, that would be a nice, relaxing way to spend my day. Ah, you have picked a good time for it. There's a number of us here working. Yes, I just met a, a Wahaya before. She's very lovely, very helpful. It's wonderful to see ah. some other people working around. Uh, better get a better get these chickens fed. Of course, don't let me stop you. Uh, ne next time, uh, you might want to pick a uh, clothes that are nice so nice. Oh. Uh, I would do just about yeah, everything in this outfit back in London. It, you would suggest maybe a simpler attire? Well, at least only, uh, I mean, it's a very white shirt. Imagine how uh, dirty it's going to get. Oh, no, I'm, I'm definitely, there, uh, there'll be no rolling in the mud from me. Definitely none of that. Uh, all right, well, if you want to try to avoid rolling in the mud, don't anger the, uh, the, bull, the bull somewhere over there. Oh, yes, I was told all about the, the bulls, and, the, and there's usually a goat here disturbing oh, yeah, the chickens. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the goats that way right now, somewhere over these. Oh, good. The further away, the better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that goat likes to run people down, so, uh, you know, be careful. He's a real yeah. troublemaker. Vigilant. He is. He really is. Such now, an asshole. Where would I, uh, where would I, where, where would I grab the chicken feed? Uh, over, over here on the barrel. Uh, they leave it over here. Oh, I see. <laughs> see, plenty of food to be uh, tossed around. But, um, you gotta wait. Uh, see, uh, only one person can feed the chickens at a time. Oh, I see. Well, hi is already on it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll probably go, uh, uh, I believe I need to take care of uh, some shearing and some other things. I'll do that and yeah, come and back. The shearing's over here. Come on. I'll show you. Thank you. Oops, sorry, man. Uh. Let's make sure the chickens don't get out. Oh, good idea. <laughs> People are like, uh, maybe some different clothes. <laughs> Love it. That shirt's very white. <laughs> this is where yeah. the, uh, the, oh. the sheep are. The scissors are over here. Have you ever shared a sheep before? No, never. Uh, when you go to shoot them, you gotta be careful not to nick their skin. Yeah, it's because it's very, uh, the, the wool's very tight. Oh, so sort of like when I uh, shave of a morning. Yeah. Okay, so, so sort of imagine that the sheep is my face. Yes, imagine the sheep is your face and be careful. Right, okay. Uh, let's have a look see, eh? How are we doing, sheepy? Easy does it. Oh, that's a good sheep. That's it. Stay nice and still. Don't want to nick your skin. You don't wriggle around too much. Was that all right? That was great. The other two are much more uh, uh, cooperative. That one's the asshole. So. Oh, is anyway, it? You got you got him done real quick. Or the other two are gonna be br a breeze. I really just imagined yeah, it was because I like to you know nice and quick in the morning, and I, yeah, definitely don't want I to go the, wander yeah. around with any blood on my face. I just sort of just imagined it was just a big woolly version of me. <laughs> Practically. <laughs> I think you surprised him. Like, he wasn't even paying attention. Maybe, oh, maybe uh, I should. She goes. Maybe I should become a barber. <laughs> maybe uh, that would be my. It's not easy to become a barber. I was a barber for four whole years. Four years. Up in New York. Yeah. Goodness, did it pay well? 
Oh, of course it did. It still pays well. If, uh, if I'm uh, being honest, which is people like to tip a, a whole lot. Oh, of oh, that's right. Yeah, tipping's a thing here. How much? So if someone helps me out with a service or goods or whatever, how much should I be tipping on top of the price? Whatever feels right. Oh. Some people tip uh, 100%. Some people tip 500%. Oh, I see. Okay. God, it's, it's, it's all these different differences in the culture here. I'm learning. Yeah, it's yeah, a lot yeah, to take yeah. in. Some people don't share, don't uh, tip at all. And is that frowned upon? I mean, nobody really gives a shit. I think it's fr I I don't think it's nice. I think people should uh, for fuck tip, you know. Especially if Especially you know, people if you go above and beyond. Exactly. If you if you go above and beyond, you be, you better be paid p properly for it. Yeah, it's it's like a it's just a, it's a show of respect, you know, appreciating their time, their effort, and imagine that you know as a if you as a barber, the tips would be appreciated because you had spent so much time, you know, training to become said barber. Exactly, Dave. Exactly, Dave. Hmm. Well, I won't keep you any moves. You can cut a couple more sheep this year. Yes, yes, I better get keep the rhythm up. Mm -hmm. Don't let them get away from this. Come, come on now, stop. That's a good girl. All right, last one. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Zzz. Easy. I need to, it's two more sheep to shear. Oh, it's just, it's just like shaving a face. <laughs> I wonder how many more people are going to comment on, like... Like... It's like, maybe, maybe get a different shirt. <laughs> That's great. Let's feed some bloody chickens, eh? Am I doing it right? Oh, they will actually come and eat it. Oh, I see. So it's not just throw it on the ground. They do actually come and eat it. And then as they eat, the bar goes up. Oh, that's neat. I get it. Eat. Eat. Eat the feed. Eat. Eat your skin and bone. One out of ten chickens fully fed. Come get your feed, huh? <laughs> come get your goddamn chicken feed. You damn chickens. You come and get it. Get it in ya. You like that, huh? You son of a bitch. I can just hold it down. 
Nope. Yum, yum, yum. Look at all them chickens. All right, next one. You little, you little bastards, get this in ya. But no, like some of these people, like hanging around on horses. It's like, what if the, what if they just wait for people to complete chores, and then they rob them? <laughs> they take the money they just earned. <laughs> that would be devious, truly devious. Bum 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 Eat 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 the feed Eat food! Where's the next spot? How many chickens have I fed so far? Three! What? They eat a lot. Well, we'll get, we'll get a bit of money at the end of this. That'll pay off the... the, the rented wagon for the day. And, um... Yeah, that'll be nice. And a bit of a profit. And we've got to kill time anyway until we hear back from some of these telegrams. Eat, eat. Come and get it, you sons of bitches. <laughs> You want some more, eh? <laughs> Come and get it. This is actually uh, fitting because um, I've got some uh, roast chicken portions ready to cook up later today. ha. <laughs> <laughs> We've only fed five of the chickens. He's coming over to get some of this, or...? He's coming over to get the feed? Come on! Eat the food! Eat it! Eat the food! 
There we go. One's eating. Nice shady spot for the chickens. Let's get a cinematic camera card and feed the cheek. <laughs> Cinema. Where'd that chicken that was eating go? It didn't finish eating! Oi. Oh, sorry! And broken it. Okay, there we go. How many more to go? Four to go! Oh my goodness. Come on. Come get the food. I'm going to need a snack in a sec. Come on, eat, eat, eat the damn food. I've got more chores to do. Come on. You live for this. Chow down on the food. These have to be the thickest chickens ever. <laughs> I'm going to make a chicken sandwich out of them. <laughs> oh, come on. Just eat it. <laughs> oh, different spot. Once I get the chores done, I might duck away from the computer for a second just to put a load of washing on because it looks like it's a sunny day here today. Just so I'm keeping up with stuff. Yeah, today's looking sunny with just a bit of overcast, which is good. Well, might get a load of washing on. The mobile bakery is uh, around if you want anything. The what? Mobile bakery. Um, really? Oh, I'll, I might yes. finish feeding these chickens and I'll come over and have a look. That sounds... I'm getting mighty yeah. hungry watching these chickens eat. Right. It's over by the... Uh, 
the uh, milk crate, mi milk cart. Oh yes, no, I won't be long. I'll be right there. All right. A mobile bakery, how cute. I will leave that for now. Let's go check out this mobile bakery. That's neat. I hope my wagon wasn't in the way. Yum, yum, yum. To grab a sweet treat. A sweet treat for our groves, eh? Never fucking eats. He's yeah, keeping he's it for later. <laughs> 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 right, right, right. Voice it. Well, who's next to me? Oh, oh, there's a line. There's this line. Yeah, we're, we're giving him a sissy. I don't know. I don't know if there's a line. Probably just. I'm trying to you want a sissy cut. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what's happening. No, I'm not you going to sissy cut. No, it's your ass for uh, eating up all the sweets. <laughs> 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 There's no, something you know, left, the right? Time and yet it's for some. Uh, no, we're just teasing no, right. him. We're teasing him. There's probably plenty left. And we get you these. All right. How so much five of those. Those are twelve apiece. The, the punch. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going into that. I'm sure you saw on the on the menu. So it's a it's a twelve dollars. Root beer. It's three dollars. So all together. I think it's 75? Perfect! Looks right to me! And get you those. <laughs> there you are. Hope you enjoy. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Anybody else feeling, uh... Yes. Like sweets, uh, drinks? Last time we oh. were around, I hate, could not have anything because uh, I did not have money. Oh, I see, I see. Well! Glad uh, mm, catching you. Try to um, there should be. You do yeah, see. Let's see. Hold it. The menu there, right? Yeah, I do see the menus. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So. I've entirely. Uh, it's a little blurry. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I would like. Uh, what the shit? Do you need your balance? Some uh, whoopee. Okay. Who thinks would be? Let's get you to and I would down. like um. And do. I would like some uh. <laughs> flower Jesus. drop cake. Perfect. What uh? What flavor? I went to work to see if had any to buy anything. We'll go with kale meal. Ah, uh, you said what? Go with what? Kale meal. Ah. Good choice. Good choice. And then, uh, uh, they, they, uh, they, they, they think it's all I want is uh, maybe uh, like uh, three, three, uh, three of those and uh, two rupees. Uh, th three of the cakes? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. And I only have two root beer left, so if anyone's wanting any more, I only got two. You see it, right? <laughs> what did you say? What, 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 what the hell did you just see? What right. the hell just came out of your mouth? <laughs> 
Wow! And we get to these. Oh. <laughs> you can't just call someone uh, diluted, soon. <laughs> wow. Uh, so those are ten apiece, and the root beer is parents, three apiece. So thirty-six. I believe. Whoops. Whoa. Oh, that's a nice tip, but... No, no, you know... Mm -mm. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, what can I get for you? Hello, uh, would you happen to have any scones? Ooh, uh, no scones. I got fry bread, I've got some churros. Those are about the closest I got. A churro. I got a menu there on the, on the back if you want to... Oh, yes, I'll take a quick gander of that. Oh, this is Dolly's Delights. Uh, <laughs> I think I can only afford one thing. Uh, and the refreshments are on the on the back. Uh, like I said, I've only got two root beer, but everything else I've got uh, I've got plenty of. Oh. oh, look, I'm a little short on money. I'll probably just do a churro, please. Oh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, you got a flavor that's uh, piquing your interest? Oh, uh, surprise me. All right, can do. Uh. All righty, let me put this back. Grabbed you a lemon churro. Well, there's a couple of them. It's a it's an order of them. Uh, there you go. Uh, Twelve dollars, sir. Oh. Well, thank you very. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you very much either way. Sorry. Uh, uh, I hope you. Uh, uh, no, very no, no, very new okay. to country. Just figuring everything out. That's yeah, totally fine. Totally fine. Well, thank you very much. Our... That'll help me get through the rest of my chores. Well, I'm glad to hear it. You uh, been doing a lot of work around here today? Oh, I've just been uh, shearing some sheep, uh, feeding some chickens, and then I think I gotta milk some cows soon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, <clears throat> I uh, I hope this goes well for you. Uh, careful of that bull. It's quite uh, quite nasty. God, I've heard. No, I'll definitely keep an eye out. Thank you very much, sir. Have a lovely evening. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. Oh no, what's happened there? <laughs> yeah, might, might be giving some baths. Did he run into? Did he? Did he run into my wagon? Did someone shoot it? I think he I think he ran into it a bit. Might move it up a bit. I don't know, there. Might be one of the sheep that got out. All right, let's go finish feeding those chickens. That's cool, a little mobile bakery, that's a nice touch. Oh no. There's 
two goats here. So I do know. I guess I'll come back. Alright, that's the sheep shearing bit done. Maybe I can resume feeding the chickens now. Nah, that's right. It's probably so they're probably someone's someone's probably still got an active or something. I'll go do the, uh, milk the cows. I think it was... I think it was over this side? Milk the cow until the bucket is full. That's one. Take the milk jug and place it in the designated location. Oh, that's right. But you said yeah, by the through the fence over here. somewhere so, where we uh I i'm so sorry sir uh where we stay is yeah how unsurprising that they would uh, be so rude while we're not there
I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know if it sounds... I don't know if it sounds legal. They're talking about law or something. Then you could just be like, boom, 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 like, speed run. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. we must find the best and most expedient way to deal with things ourselves. Oh, goodness gracious, those milk canisters are a bit heavy. They are. Uh, yeah, they like they, them to uh, be filled all the way and then being metal. It's, it's like you have to really... really He's clearing mm -hmm. up the fence. Whew. The carpenters work very quickly to put those boards back up, but while they are down, it becomes a little easier to move the milk. That way you don't have to huck it over the fence, climb oh. it, and pick it back up. I'm the carpenter, this annoys me. Willow, that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> Are you the you carpenter, Siane? Or a bagel? Yes, I am a carpenter. You can uh, deliver milk a little bit more uh, nicely now. I appreciate um, it. It's very kind Finish. of you. I've got one left to go. It'll be a breeze. Uh, All right, so I'm done. Uh, How is everybody uh, with their choice? I'm finished as well. We're waiting to see if the foreman puts out any more notices or... I think uh, Wahaya is also trying to time this thing, see when it is he comes around to do it. I think the foreman brings it out not long after sunrise. Uh, All right. Gotta get Where that last name, jug. Sir? Oh, was that me? Mm, yes, you. Oh, yes, uh, Groves. Uh, Albert Groves, at your service. Nice to meet you, Albert. Nice or to meet Mr. you all. Groves, however you... Oh, uh, to be addressed. Mr. Groves, Albert, it's all fine. It was uh, good to meet you, Mr. Groves. <gasps> Likewise. Uh, well, what were your names? Uh, uh, my name is... Dictates, uh... okay. Go ahead, Tione. Yours is longer. It's Mr. always hard to decide which we way will we go start. Clockwise. All right, uh, all tradition right. dictates I greet you with my full name. Uh, I am Sione Krihai of Eotiro. You can call me Gentle Ocean. That's a not Gentle Ocean. That's lovely. We're going clockwise. All right. Hi, my name's Vulture. Vulture? That's a strong name. <laughs> Thank you. We met. My name is Burning Gaze. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes. My name is Flying Eagle. Ah, yes. Lovely. Uh, my name's Chiwi. 
Nice, short and sweet. I, I think he said it like real quick, so I don't think he heard the wah chee wee in there. Oh yeah, it's wah chee wee, as he said. Oh right, yes, I only heard the last part. Oh yes, oh yeah. Sorry, yeah, sometimes I talk way too fast. I, I'm sorry, I apologize. No, not a problem. Also, the air has a habit of carrying our voices off from time to time. Yes, it can be. Everyone gets a little tongue-tied now and then. Skana Gore, I am Ose, or you can call me Willow. Willow, oh yes. Oh, no. uh, my legal name, I guess, is Willow the Rosa. It's Italian. Well, I wish I had something special to go with my name, but it's just, I don't know, I guess... I guess my ancestors just really liked Groves. Maybe they're just a nickname that stuck. That's about it. Like orange groves? Can't say for sure. Oh. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you either way. Pleasure to meet you all. It's a. This is my first day working on the ranch, learning a lot, and uh, goodness, those chickens can eat. They sure yes, can. They, can. they sure can. They're also, for being flightless birds, pretty fucking flighty. <laughs> yes. Well, I better get that last uh, that last jug of milk done, and I'll I'll come back. Uh, of course. It's a pleasure to meet you, you all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just breaks the fence. <laughs> oh man, I suck at remembering people's names. I really suck at remembering people's names. Like, I remember their faces and voices much quicker. But my guy, that's nice. There's some cool ones here. So it was like, uh, it was like Willow, Vulture, Gentle Ocean, Flying Eagle, uh, well, highest, it's Burning Gaze. Um, I might be missing one or two. That's cool. It's great to see so many um, people role playing as uh, Native Americans. That's cool. Get a bit of culture in ya. I love I love the the accent. Yes, they know me. <laughs> I am their chief. <laughs> hey, uh... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Nobody ever said that her name was Burning Gaze. I thought it was Ahaya. It's okay. I did the same thing yesterday. Oh my God. Nobody. Ain't nobody told me that. Oh, Mr. Groves. Hello. Are are you uh, are you fairly new to the crossing or? Very new, fresh off the boat this week. I could probably tell by your outfit, to be honest. <laughs> yes, a few people are suggesting the... that I should yeah, probably no, buy them. Saying, I'm just saying, you know, it's very uh, clean. You know, like right off the boat, clean. Yes. Oh, well, right off the train. Th this is regular attire back in London. I just. I, I would do just about everything in an outfit like this, but... It just seems so hot and stuffy, don't you think? Oh, yes, but I, I, could, I could do with a bit of a sweat. Oh, you, you like sweating? Sweat out all the, the tea and beans on toast I eat. It's a, I really need to watch how much I eat. Well, if you're doing ranch work, you can eat whatever you want, I think. Oh, I'm feeling it. I am definitely feeling it, Aya, but I, a few people have 
definitely take a note of of my attire. I'll probably find some nice casual ranch no, no, wear it's for fine. future. It's you're you're okay. It's just at a you know in a ranch. I it's very bright. You're you're very dapper. Stick out like a sore thumb. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, you're too polite. Uh. Yeah, maybe. I also did just say your outfit looks like it does did just come off the train, so I don't know how polite I actually am. <laughs> you know, it, it's all right. I is a I, I, there's a real, I imagine there would be a lot of growing pains and learning all the different you know the different culture over here and the ins and outs of everything. So it's it's to be expected. Mm. Are you looking for work on the regular? Yes. Oh. Go ahead. I interrupted. Oh no, you're all right. I, I, I just uh, I've put in a telegram to with the transit authority to hopefully become a train conductor, and then I just happened to meet another chap who uh, suggested I go along to the theatre auditions tomorrow morning. So oh yeah, that's tomorrow. And I may maybe soon I'll be giving out baths at the Rhodes Parlour. I'm going to have my calendar chock a block full of activities. Yeah, it's the way to do uh, it. Okay. Hey, Sione, I want to share. I want to share my sweets mm -hmm. with you. I want to share this with you. My food with you. Uh huh? No, no, I'm <laughs> good. No, thank you. Take it. Take no. it. Give that to the take Englishman. It. He well, he likes beans. No, take it. No, no I just uh, I got a uh, lemon churro. These are sweet no. beans. Take it. No. I'm not, no, no, Take thank it. you. What you is don't. it? You no. don't eat beans. You need beans. Baked beans. No. Yes, baked beans. <laughs> do you have any toast? Uh, I do not have any toast, but you can eat this. Oh yes, please. <laughs> Excuse my voice. She does not like uh, <laughs> up on this. She doesn't like willow. What? Oh, delicious. Thank you very much for the beans. Oh, I love a good spot of beans on toast. <laughs> Yo, Rando. Oh, I've still got chickens to feed. Oh, sorry. Chickens to feed. I forgot. There you go, Rando. Uh, so, yeah, George Hughes is, of course, uh, anti-beans, but um, Albert Groves is pro-beans because, um, you know, English people love their beans on toast, right? So, yeah, Albert Groves is pro-beans. <laughs> Couldn't start activity. Hmm. I'm good. I'm good. I just, um, it was a bit rough waking up because I was like, I better start by 9 a.m. And it was just rough because usually I love a good sleep in on the weekend, but I was like, I better make the most of the day. Uh, but it's been fun so far. We've been, uh, we've been running into a whole bunch of people, getting stuff done. It's been very, very cool. Do anything? Nope. Hold on. Nope. What? I think you just need to let me do it. I'm, I don't want to. Hold on. I I'm, think his back is, is, is hurt right now. I believe we may have a problem. Why? The, we seem to be out of chicken feed or something. All right, let me come out, please. What's going on? I just, I can't seem to find any chicken feed. I just, I can't. I cannot resume the activity of uh, feeding chickens. I'm like, how do I word this? How do I word this? So why did you feed the chickens? No, I, I, I go up to grab the feed and it just, I can't start the activity. There just seems to be no... It's almost like there's no feed left, or this fellow's hidden it, or I don't know. 
Hey, uh, shut up, I'm helping. You don't you dare get violent with me. What the heck? What? What a... What a horrible man! Oh, get him! Fucker! What the fucking hurt me? How rude! We're just fuck here to help you, feed the chickens and he comes and attacks you! What did you do? My goodness! Where's my head? What did you do? I didn't do anything! Did I, Eddie? We, we just came in here to investigate where the chicken feed is, and this fellow, he dropped his bug and he... He had a... He started to get a bit aggressive. He came right at me. Oh, man. Uh, he was about to throw a punch, so I fucking punched him first. Yes, no, I saw it. Yeah, he he did swing first. I saw it coming. Is this his hat? Maybe I'll borrow it. It'll probably look better in it than he does. It's just getting a little hot, but yeah, I can't. I, I just can't seem to grab any chicken feed. Maybe. Did you try uh, bending your knees? Maybe, maybe, uh, no, not like they, like loosen up your, all your, all your muscles like this. Oh, oh yes, ah, oh, stretch it out. That was very loose, very loose. You can't see it still? Oh, I can see it, but then it's just, yeah, I, I cannot start the activity. It's almost like mm. it's almost like someone else is still holding on to the chicken feed from earlier or something. Uh, my guess is maybe uh, take a quick nap. I will, I, and uh, I'll still have the job, right? Yeah, of course you will. Oh, good, because I've just got two chickens left to feed. Apparently, on my to-do list, I'd hate to lose all that. But yeah, so I think I might. I'll quickly. Shut my eyes for a minute behind the tree, and I'll be back. All right, sounds good. Good idea, though. Morning, Mrs. Phenom. <laughs> very average day on the farm. Um, oh God, I hope I can get back in. Hope I can get back in. Or maybe I should unrelog. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Also, Rando, it's um it's good. There's so many there's so many like American players and just more players from overseas, so lots of just you don't know what you're gonna get. Some really great accents. And look, I, it's only my second session and I I'm playing Albert Groves as a civilian. Um, so it's it's definitely feeling more like a slow burn. Um, it just feels like there's a much more relaxed pace, if that makes sense, which I'm really enjoying. Also, Asher, if I'm pronouncing that right, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner. Oh, and... Oh. Cheap viewers. Oh, wowee. Wowee. Yeah, I'll pass, though. <laughs> um, Like, we, yeah, we've just met some really great, like, pe you can really tell that some people, are, they're just so committed to um, the accent and, and everything, and it's, it's really cool. Yay, frog. My viewers aren't cheap. I paid a lot for them. Ha, ha, ha. It's cool though. Um, like we met some really great people at the Rhodes Parlor. Um, we met like an Italian guy uh, in Saint Denis. The accent was amazing. And then like this guy's, at, um, what's his name? Uh, his accent, like the accents are great. Like all the all the Native American characters we just met. It's yeah, it's really cool. Oh my god, look at this. Bzz. 
and we have just acquired we were just given two cans of beans because like i said before albert groves is pro beans because he's british he loves beans on toast um well of course george hughes will forever be anti-beans <laughs> All right, let's hope that the chicken feeding thing works now. Yep, the mission is still there. Oh, the goats are here. Don't you give me any trouble. Couldn't start the activity. I blame Donkey for the beans. No, the bean. The, well, if I remember correctly, the whole dealio with the beans was all Lontre's fault. stables that they could use to go and do this thing a few american paints some standard breads all that and the foreman there would say a whole bunch of different things about oh you know you could use this horse they are great with the cattle this horse is hey. mindful of the sheep huh? oh yeah okay um but there was only one thing that he would say when the ranch hands asked about midnight, all he would tell them is nobody rides midnight. Because anyone who tried to sit in a saddle upon him did not last 15 seconds before being bucked. Oh, really? Mm hmm. But he was a great breed stallion. So that's why they kept him around for so long. So, did a uh, the uh, small nap help or no? Uh, no, I, I, I still can't uh, resume feeding the chickens. Mm. Uh -oh. You may really have to shut, uh, shut your eyes, then have a sit down and let yourself loosen up. It is unfortunate though when that happens yeah i took a very brief power nap mm -hmm. it didn't didn't change anything uh, i would take a, a little deeper nap would probably resolve your issues a deeper nap how how long how how deep and how long are we talking oh not not long just i would shut your eyes pretty hard for a second and wake back up okay i'll try that again thank you i'll, I'll be back uh, Good luck. Thank you. Um, like maybe, yeah, maybe I close down the the launcher. And I'm just looking through the Discord as well. Um, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, Reopen some things.
Aha. It looks like, yeah, it looks like on the Discord and my suspicion is that um, maybe someone didn't finish doing the job or there was a bug like when they finished doing the job, like the game still thinks they're doing it because only one person can do it at a time. Morning, Bard. How you doing? Howdy, partner. Mmm, bugger. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, my wagon! I didn't put the wagon away! Oh, I'm gonna have to pay to get the wagon out again. Ah, oh, I forgot! Oh no! Oh, I forgot. Oh, darn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh. It's gonna take some getting used to. No! <laughs> yeah, it'll be- the wagon will be gone. Yeah, and it'll be like- like a finder's fee to get it back out. Oh, man. I completely forgot. Bruh. Maybe it's because I left the activity. Maybe I should have just finished it before I went to go to the mobile bakery. Oh dear, I'm just having no luck with this chicken feed. Um. Do you know, did you happen to see if anyone apart from that rude fellow was feeding the chickens after me around the time the mobile bakery stopped through? No, no, it's what he's right now. Nobody did so. I think you might have to tear up the job and uh, try again another time. Yes, I think you... It's, I'm afraid to say that I think you might be right. Yes. Oh, well. Uh, uh, let me give you some detail, please. That's nice. That's very you kind of you. No worries. I also realized I forgot to put my wagon away. Oh, sorry. It's all right. If you end up having to do a job or something, they don't help uh, pay for expenses. Yeah, so yeah, I, 
I just wanted to make sure I had a little bit of a profit after paying off the, the wagon I, I rented out and I forgot to put it away so there'll be an extra fee. But that's all right. I need to learn. Oh, it's still over there. Is it? Yes. Oh. Are we so gorgeous? Let's have a look, see. Oh, is that? I think that's mine. Is that mine? Yeah. You didn't see anyone else come into town with a wagon, did you? No, no, they moved you a wagon so it wouldn't get damaged. Oh, that's very kind of them. Oh, good. Oh, there we go. Now I can check it back in. He's, he's, uh, he won't get your deposit big, but uh, at least uh, you got some uh, modes of transportation. That's right. Well, I've got a bit of time to kill until I can come back and try my hand at ranching again. But uh, thank you very much for your help. I might pop over into Valentine and see what the word on the street is. Sounds good. If you're ever in Valentine and uh, you see a set to kill your mate uh, at the general store, you can always uh, come in and uh, chit chat, get what you need. Sounds good. I'll remember that. Thank you very much. And what was your name again? Uh, you can either call me OC or Willow. Willow! That's Willow. right. Yes, just got to remember all the names. Willow, thank you very much. I'll be seeing you. Yes, 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 you have good ones. Learning so much. <laughs> Chat on my inner Roscoe. <laughs> oh, Roscoe. It seems that uh, leaving, uh, feeding the chickens early. Um, Mr. Groves. Oh, hello. Did you see our young friend ride off towards Valentine on his own? Willow. Yes. Uh. Oh, I just, I just told him I was going to pop on over to Valentine, but then I didn't catch a, a glimpse of which way he went. Sorry. Mm. No, that's all right. That's okay. We are I think safe I to assume that was him. Yeah. All right then. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So, about 30 minutes, so about 12 o'clock or so, I can try another ranch job. Uh, you can you can buy carts, but they are very expensive. Like I'm talking like thousands of dollars. Um, I I might have just a hundred dollars to my name currently. Um, so at the moment I'm just renting them out um, because this character has probably never ridden a horse in his, before in his life. He's just used wagons and carriages and stuff back in London. So, uh, I'm really playing into that side of the character. That I will not ride a horse until someone teaches me. Don't you hate it when the ads like are calling you out, Bart? It's like, hey, hey, hey. That's not very nice. Yeah, wise guy, huh? hearing that the learning to read I think I'm just uh, yeah because like yeah wild RP there's sort of like there's a standard because you know there's a whole like 
application process, I'm really trying to just go, uh, you know, um, make sure I'm doing everything I can to be doing the best job I can. Excuse to get out doing admin. <laughs> But I think, I think like yourself and Dark Imagine and others, I think you would really like this server. Oh, you're starting to serve your own. Oh, Valentine. Fuck Valentine. Oh, Space Engineers. Sci fi RP. Ha 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 ha. Cool. Let's see if I've received any, uh, Telegrams, well, let's see if there's a train heading around or anything. Well, let's take a look at this as well. I've heard very good things about Space Engineers. Nothing yet. Rip. An NPC or was that a player? Ah, filming some machinima stuff would be really fun. I miss doing stuff like that. I think the I think the vibes, Bard. I think the vibes would definitely be right up your alley, from what I've experienced so far. Now. Let's go. Maybe we'll find some suitable ranch 
chore attire. The rain! Oh goodness gracious! Uh, where's the clothing store here? In the general store. So I've got 54 bucks on me. Surely, surely that's enough to, um... I'm just getting like some, some overalls or something. Got to get him a pipe. Then can you just use it anytime or? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Yo.
And I'm back. So it's my mum, my friend that's driving down, coming through town, called me. Uh, they are three hours away. They are three hours away. So we might do dinner tonight, which is good. So I'll have something little now. Um, so I definitely won't, can't do my homemade pizza or roast chicken. Um, that will be a bit too much. That will completely ruin my appetite. Um, uh, how does pipes work? <laughs> how do pipes work? Like, do you just have the pipe and you just use it or do I have to buy, um, this is going to be a very dumb question. They put tobacco in it, right? And that's what they like. Stamp down in it, and then they light it right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I can't. I've never used a pipe. I'm not a. I'm not a British gentleman to to use a pipe. Good day. <laughs> his mouth. Well, let, let's let's try it. <laughs> uh, you don't have any tobacco. Yeah, you gotta have tobacco. God, well, where do you get the? They don't have tobacco, do they? Like, I'd like to have it for the character, but I like if chewing tobacco. T for tobacco. No, nah, you can't get it here. My God, how expensive is that? Like, I just, like, sometimes when he's, like, standing around town, it'd be just neat for him to have him there, you know, smoking on a pipe. Like a, you know, howdy, sonny. So I think they went into the clothing store. I imagine you're going to... Go one at a time. Unless it's upstairs. But I'm gonna get him a really dinky um farming outfit. Like just like really like I'm like just like some overalls. They look really dorky. Um, let's go check what the saloon has. Maybe they, maybe they have tobacco. Who the hell are you? Who the bloody hell? Hello. Good evening. A small pile of beans rests on the bar. Mister? You got beer? And weak beer. We got cigars everywhere. No tobacco. Partner? Do 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 do. Surely not at the doctor. Well, I suppose for the time period, maybe. Ah, you're feeling a bit under the weather there, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, have some just smoke on this, eh? Yes, it will definitely make you feel better. Okay, okay Doc. Okay. Whatever you say. No. Hello. Hmm. 
I don't know. Oh. I'm assuming they're still in there. It is inside, right? Or do I go around the back? Yeah, it is inside. We'll wait a little bit to see if they come out. Um, so, oh, sorry, Bard. Um, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, Bard, yeah. Yeah, to see if you ever get that feel of that drive back. Yeah, you just got to do an application and go from there. Yo, Saint. It's going well so far. Um, I definitely picked a good time to to play again. Because, yeah, now I think when I got on, there was like 160 people on. Because, yeah, all the you know, American players are on and all that. So there's been bumping into a lot of people today, which has been really good. Um, and we're getting some leads. But it's just, yeah, waiting for telegrams to come back. Um, but it's been good. It's been a nice slow burn, which has been nice. Very chill so far. But that's mainly, probably mainly because I'm playing a citizen. Good day. Hello. Uh, just a quick question. I, I'm not sure entirely how the clothing store here works. Is, is it just one at a time? Yes, yes it is. Uh, it's a very small room. Um, if you're looking for other changing rooms, there's one in Blackwater, one in Strawberry, uh, one in Rosen, one all the way out in St. Denis as well. I see. Oh, that's right. I saw a, saw a young lady go in before me, so I'm just waiting. I might... I need to purchase myself a suitable uh, ranch attire. Oh, perfect. Right, yeah. Well, this is a good place to do it. Uh, I mean, you can always go up to the door and ask how long they might be. That's up to you. Oh, I thought I might. I didn't want to scare them. <laughs> perfect, that's okay. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that's. it's up to you if you would like to wait here or the, go to any of the other tables as well. It's up to you. That might be good. I've, I've only, I'm very new. I've uh, moved over here from England. Um, I've only been to Saint Denis, Rhodes, and Valentine so far. So it would be good to visit some of the other places. Um, with that, with that badge, would that you be one of the mm -hmm. deputies? Um, I am in fact the sheriff. Oh, uh, the sheriff of Annisburg. Yes. Oh, apologies, sheriff. I. Uh, no, it's okay. It's a very different uh, system to what we have back uh, home. Um, so you might uh, have some information I've been seeking. Perhaps. What do you What do you need to know? Well, uh, the first first point of business is um, I was wondering if you've heard anything about these uh, open theatre auditions happening tomorrow morning. Um, not, not quite, uh, but if it's in the newspaper, if it's been advertised, you know, there's flies everywhere, something, or you've even just heard it secondhand, then chances are it's happening, yeah. Right. It's probably out in St. Denis, it might be a couple other theatre stages, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what it might be, chances are high at St. Denis. I'm really hoping it's the large one I was shown. If not, I'm going to be very lost, but that's all right. Uh, second thing I've been following up on is um, I'd really mm. love to uh, 
pursue work with the transit authority. I have the childhood dream of one day being a train conductor. So I've um, I've telegrammed. Uh, who did I telegram? Um, I've tried two people mm -hmm. for the transit authority. Is there someone? Is there a point of contact you you're aware of? Um, I think I feel like they have their own tip line now. It's a very recent development. You might be able to reach out to them there. Uh, but if anything, if I go pop down to my office very quickly, I can go and check to see who that might be. Oh, if it's no trouble, it's, it's Not I'd, at all. I'd love to get training with that sooner. Oh, pardon the pun. Uh, sooner rather <laughs> than later. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, let me let me go check my paperwork very quickly, uh, and I shall pop right back over here in just a moment. Okay. No worries. If I'm if I'm not waiting here, I'll be in there buying some overalls. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Groves. Albert Groves. Albert Groves. Well, Mr. Groves, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Davipka, again, the Sheriff of Annesburg. Sorry, one more time. Uh, Davy, like uh, Davy Oh, Parker. Davy! Sorry. I, uh, yeah. Sheriff Davy, pleasure to meet you. You saw Mr. Groves. All right. Uh, excuse me for a brief moment while I go gather that information, and I shall be right back. No problem. Take your time. All right. Very good. <laughs> oh, you can hear, you can hear, like every it's like every second person who I talk to, you can hear them like Get my key. They're trying not to laugh. <laughs> oh, it's funny. <laughs> like, they don't know what to make of it. They're like, what is with this guy? <laughs> well, I was a bit nervous, Saint, because, like, when you look into... Good for you now, sorry. No, that's all right, miss. Not a problem. Take care. <laughs> it's, um, when you hear about Red Dead RP, you know, Wild RP comes a lot. Comes up a lot. So, um... Um... It's just, yeah, I was sort of like, oh, let's give it a go. So I was like, I was like very mindful. I was like, well, I don't, I want to try during the day um, on a weekend when all the overseas people are on. And it's, it's been really cool. Like you saw there, like that's one of the sheriffs. How nice was she? Well-spoken and that is great. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh. I'll be right back. I will. I'll play poker with all of you. If there's room at the table, I just need to check on them. We want like basic ranch. Um, where would I find like overalls? Do you think closed coats? What would that be under? Um, Mr. Groves, are you in there? Oh, ah, uh, yes. Oh, very good. Um, I found the telegram number for the new director of the Transit Authority. Oh yes, one second. Let me just get my notepad out of my pants. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, all right. Yes. Right. Their telegram number is VU one. Uh, I'm sorry, six one zero. Like very understanding six one zero. Right, and, and what was their name? Uh, Elspeth Edwards. Oh, that might be one I tried earlier, but I'll double check my records. Okay. Yeah, if you if you just telegram them today, I think I think they check their telegrams every other day or so. So you should hear back from them very soon. That's all right. Thank you very much, Sheriff Davy. You're welcome, Mr. Groves. Good luck with uh, finding your ranching outfit. Oh yes, I'm trying to find some overalls now. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Have fun. Um, Have a lovely evening. You <laughs> 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 through the door. Mr. Grubbs, are you in there? Yes. Sorry, I don't have honored. 
I don't have on any pants. <laughs> oh no. Um under pants you reckon? Ah. <laughs> 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 no, I don't have any pants on. Oh dear. <laughs> we'll just go to just good old blue. Um, what's some good work boots? Maybe that. Just the first one, maybe. Oh, I, do, I, like, I like the lace up ones. Maybe that. Um, uh, the shirt. We want just a basic shirt to go with this. <laughs> Get a rest of a decent, decent exposure. Like, oh, put the scrubs, put the pants back on. Maybe we'll go like a nice blue shirt. Maybe one of those early ones. Maybe just that, like just a nice chair like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Hat. We want an outdoorsy, like working on the ranch hat. Goodness, I don't know. Maybe that? Um, yeah, don't need anything like that. Yeah, because it's just ranching outfit. Yep. Yep. Fifty dollars. What do you hear? What do you say? Ha! <laughs> howdy, howdy. We have some guests eating at the restaurant upstairs tonight. Bloody hell! They've been up there. Well. No, I don't think so. Which is why. Which is why I dumped them off on, on Bobby Flowers and I could sleep over. Why is he just constantly... I'm accommodating my own wallet after, after we're done. Why is his mouth constantly moving? Morning, partner. The laziness just rubs me the wrong way. Just the good time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I started to play a game earlier, and then immediately got pulled away from some business. So I'm glad I did. You went. Where the hell's the tobacco? Morning. Damn fine day. God's own country, this is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back to having next to no money.
Oh. Oh. Now we're ready to work on the bloody farm. Telly ho. I am enjoying the server so far. The plan is that if I do want to do it regularly, I'll probably just primarily commit to doing it uh, during the day on weekends, like Saturdays and Sundays. So, you know, when I am now, um, so that I'm on when a lot of the overseas people are on and it's like I don't have anything on really on for the day. Because uh, during the days on the weekend, unless I'm doing something, like I'm just doing washing and cleaning and that like i'm just chilling out anyway i don't really go out and do stuff so it'd be a good way to use that time uh, and then i can keep the nights free for streaming you know like you know whatever's good at the time you know space marine or an old game um that's the, that is the plan So I'd like to, like, I don't know what else is in store for me today. Um, I'd like to at least get one farming job done. Make some money. Like, I'd like to, at the very least, I'd like to do that before I call it for the day. But it's only 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah, food. Yeah, because just the, you know, doing it nearly every night before I go to bed, like after work, like straight after work and before I go to bed, just, it's, um, it's not good. Yo, Hagelarden. You're good, dude. Yeah, I started at 9am. But I'll be going for a bit longer. Sorry, we just we've just been trying to do some ranching and and stuff. But yeah, if I ever if I ever stream this on um if I ever stream this on weekends, it'll usually be a, a 9 a.m. start. Just so it sort of fits like it sort of like keeps me in rhythm with my um with my job. I'm definitely finding that sank. Gotta gotta break it up. I just yeah, I with with how my life is at the moment, I just I cannot keep up with doing it like nearly every night. And especially like not only am I doing was I doing it like nearly every night, but like doing law stuff is like it's a lot. It's a like you even you try not to think about it, but it's a lot even just in the back of your head. Like, it's just, it can be a bit exhausting. Like, I, I try, try as I might to not make it exhausting. It's just, you know, it's still there. You know? 
You know what I mean? So it's almost like doing like two big sessions a week during the day when I'm doing stuff anyway and I've got the time after to chill might be better. And I'm just finding that the place, the general player base play style and the vibe is, I think it may be just uh, suiting me a bit better with how I currently am. Well, I'm really hoping, Steve, that, um, you know, majority of the player base on Wild RP, considering they had to do, you know, an application and everything, I'm really hoping that the general player base aren't about doing shitty stuff like that. Um, like, if there's a place for it to be reduced, it's got to be here, right? All right, let's try this again. Same as before. All right. Let's go try and do stuff with the chickens. Let's see if that's working now. <laughs> well, I know there's quite a there's quite a strong large a large strong um, staff team, and like they like just the general culture is you know they take it all very seriously. Like you know everyone has fun, but it's like it's just there's 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 that standard. There's a a much larger emphasis on that, which I really respect. It's still not working. No. Was it me earlier? When I... No. Like, I might have broken it earlier, but all I did was I just... I stopped the chicken activity early because I wanted to go check the bakery. The mobile bakery. But that might have... That might be a bug. I don't know if I saw anyone else doing it after me. Oh, no! <laughs> hey! Sorry, can I help you? Hmm. Where did you where did you put my wagon? Oh, it's checked in with the wagon master. Don't you know it's illegal to just leave them in the middle of the street? No, I didn't. I've saved you a twenty-five dollar fine, my friend. Is there anywhere I can read up on all these laws and rules? That's the funny thing about America, you can't. But I'm I'm from England, I don't know anything. What's your name? Albert Groves. Hi, I'm Hades. Hello. Are you new to the crossing? Very new. I I, I thought it'd be fine if I just parked it on the side of the road out of the way. Aw, uh, you're being mean to the guy. That's certainly a little dangerous. Pardon? I'm just leaving it there. Yeah, have this for your trouble. We were just fucking with you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll I'll be able to collect it from the stable here, right? Oh, I, you should. Yes, there's a little yes. table on the inside here. If, did you rent it or did you own it? I've or? I've rented it. I I can't afford okay. to, to buy one yet. You uh, right over here. You should be able to take it out on just that, that table, table back behind there. us. All right. Well, I didn't. I didn't know it was illegal to do that, but I'll try and remember. It, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> what oh, business wife, do you sorry. have going around moving people's wagons then? Because it was funny. Well, when they walk away from it, you gave you gave me a heart attack. I don't see how that's funny for me. <laughs> Are you stuck? No. Not at all. I what can't even get... Ranch work? I can't even feed the bloody chickens! Are you... Do you need help? 
I don't know. I don't I don't know if the chickens will be able to be fed till tomorrow. Especially the bulls. Yeah, it's the bulls especially. Um, did you pick up a job from the board? Like, did you take it? I did. And I had one earlier and I had to rip it up. And I, then I went into town, oh. waste, killed a bit of time. And I went to do it again. But it seems we're still out of chicken feed. Uh, I don't know if that's possible. The fellow keeps it back there. Yeah, did you just it right did you go over and you grab it? I try. That's the thing. I can't. I can't grab any chicken feed. I cannot start the activity, no matter what I do. I even took a nap. Or like a hard one. Like right here. Yes. Yeah. I come up. And I try to grab the feed. I just. And I just. Whatever. For whatever reason, I just cannot start the activity. It's. It's almost as if there's just no chicken feed left. Oh. Are you sure you need to feed the chickens for the job you picked up? Yes, uh, the the list given to me requires ten okay. fully fed chickens. Um, where does it say to feed them? Uh, it just says yeah, I need to important. fully feed ten chickens. All right, look on your map and make sure it's yes. this ranch. Yes, make sure it is this ranch you need to feed them. Every once in a yes, while uh, Emerald Ranch. Huh. Mm, all right. Cool, yeah. How much was Strange. the a uh, hundred and thirty-four dollars. <laughs> I just give. That's very kind of you. Mhm. Mm I just need to toss the job. Yes, I, I imagine. Uh, maybe the the chicken feed will be refilled after the next storm. Well, yeah, hopefully. So, just to be absolutely uh, clear, is you can park wagons on the side of the road? You can't. We were just on the side it. of the road. Yes, don't do it in the middle of. The yes, road. on oh, yeah, <laughs> off, off, off the path. Okay, <laughs> okay, very good, very good. I uh, yes. Sorry, had we had we known you hadn't just gotten off the train, we probably wouldn't have. Uh, yes, been quite so. No, it's all right. It's a Sky reminder ways. that it's a big, scary <laughs> world out there, and I should probably be a little bit more aware of my surroundings. So it's, there's a lesson probably to be learned so. in everything, right? Also, maybe buy yourself a horse that'll come when you whistle. Oh, I, I've, I've never ridden a horse in my life. Oh, no time like the present to learn. Is there anyone that's a particularly good teacher? I mean, Hades here is pretty good. I'm just. No, I'm not. I'm just a little n nervous, <laughs> but I see everyone's riding around on them. But yeah, yeah back on. in London, come I would on. just ride yeah. around on a carriage or walk. Uh, carriages are expensive, and they can break, and then you're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Yes, yeah, so I'm very glad I, I can rent some out, though. Maybe the advantage of wolves and such being afraid of them. Oh, how about we just teach him on the mule? Mule doesn't have a saddle. You'll need to learn how to ride saddleback before you can ride bareback. Oh dear. Come to the horse. Right. So you see that little stirrup? You're gonna put your foot in it. You get your right one in this case. You're gonna pull yourself up using that saddle horn right there. Yep, there you go. Just up like that. Perfect. Right. Yes. Those are called reins that you're holding, right? Reins. It's connected to the horse, yeah, the, the mouthpiece. Yes. Is that called stirrups? No. That was the bit. Yeah. The bit goes in the mouth. Oh, yes, bite on the bit. Give him a, a light yes. kick to the side. Mm, pardon? Kick the horse lightly in the side. Very lightly. Fuse is uh, quick-tempered sometimes. There you go. See? Nudge them slightly and they're gonna move on. Goodness, picking up a bit of speed!
Oh! Like this seems to be a well-tempered horse. Mm -hmm. He uses a Nordfolk roaster. A good horse breed. A Spencer, roadster. but a good horse. Right. It pays to invest in a good one, I guess. And, and what? Uh, I didn't handle it back home. What do they eat? Uh, all kinds of stuff. I have an apple. Do they like apples? Generally, yes. Could not find horse. I'm not sure Best if it's in the mood for an apple, but I'll eat it all the same. Well. Best way to feed it to them is actually from the saddle, surprisingly enough. Oh! On the move? Hmm. Oh. Oh. You want a bit, horsey? A little, a little nibble? No? Alright. What, uh, what is your name, my friend? Uh, Groves. Albert Groves. Albert Groves. Well, my name is Abdul Qadir. Uh, my friends call me Abdul or the Egyptian. Oh, pleasure to meet you. And, uh, and this is my sister, Hades. Uh, Hades? Yes. Goodness. Hades, yes, like the god of death. I was going, I was going to say. I've heard that before, but never, never by just someone I've met. It's very... Well, Ab Abdul and Hades. Easy to remember. Mm. If you say so. <laughs> so, what would you recommend as a uh, as a good horse breed for someone that's uh, never owned a horse before? A basic horse, like a Kentucky Saddler, a Tennessee Walker. They're actually able to keep up with most oh, other horse some breeds. Morgan. Yeah, Morgans are also really good. Right. And Morgans what? are a little bit smaller, though. Not a lot of people like them. Uh, mm. And what's the average price of one of these uh, basic breeds? Oh, I think it's like what fifty plus ten yeah. for uh, bridle and saddle. I think. Yeah. Well, you're going to want to make sure you get saddlebags on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, how, how much money should I have saved before I go visit the stable? I it mean, depends on what, what horse you're looking at. Yeah. I'll given what the two of us have given you, I'd go do it now. <laughs> I'll probably just start with something basic, nothing, t nothing too fancy. I, I want to be. F I'm focusing on becoming a train conductor, not a. Uh, uh, oh, a train conductor. Ah, oh, transit. Uh, I've sent a telegram to uh, D Director Edwards, but I'm yet to hear a, get oh. a response. But that's all right. I'm I'm, I'm a patient man. I, I know a few people who are in the transit. They're very nice. Trains mm -hmm. are good. Well, if you happen to run into any of them, let them know that Albert Grobes from England is very, very interested. In a, if there's any we'll availability, would love to learn. Well, you uh, apparently have your knowledge of uh, wagons down for certain. Yeah, well, that's uh, I would I would help move things around the train yard back in London, mm -hmm. but they would there's just with the with the with the upcoming London Underground with uh, undergoing a lot of development and such. There just there was far too much competition for someone like me to. To wiggle my way in and become a conductor, there was too many people. So they said, "Why don't you try the new world, Groves?" And I said, oh, "All right, fresh beginnings might be good." Well, yeah, you should be fine enough. You seem intelligent. Oh yeah, well, you know, simple, you know, salt of the earth kind of guy. Well, I mean, you seem intelligent in the way that you, I don't think we'll have to worry about you getting robbed immediately. Robbed. Yeah. Oh yes. People will. Uh, you <laughs> you being transit, you're gonna have to get used to being robbed. Mm-hmm. Why do people people want to rob the train? Well, people generally want to rob one another. But I. The train just happens to be a convenient place where there's lots of people gathered in one place, and sometimes valuable things. Yeah. Are mm -hmm. Oh. Never carry anything personal to you while on a train. Well, I just bought a pipe. That's about as... I don't think anyone will steal that. I mean, like, a gun or money or a notebook. Oh, speaking mm -hmm. of, where would one buy tobacco? 
Like smoke and tobacco? Buy tobacco? Go grind it. Uh, whichever will go best with my pipe. It, it would be ground tobacco. You're going to have to go pick be, the yes. tobacco leaves. I have to pick mm -hmm. it myself. Yes, this is the new world. I don't, I don't know anyone who sells it. Right. Uh, where would I pick it? Uh, by roads. There's quite a few places. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It sounds like sounds like a trip you to roads is in order. We could. It's not your like he's got do. chores to do anymore. I'm on the back of the horse. I'll help you up. Oh. Right. Thank you. Oh, bloody hell. Make sure you're thinking a little friendly. Oh. What? What the bloody hell? Sorry, I seem to be missing the back of the horse. How do I get on the back? It's just my E muscle? Yeah. But you, you, you have to make you sure that you're to... thinking friendly. Yes. You know. Oh. Otherwise, you. How yes. would I do that? Exactly. Exactly. You've just said it, my friend. I believe I'm. I've been had a pretty friendly demeanor all day. Go ahead and try to hop on. No, no sorry. I re Almost. <laughs> sorry. I'm really not sure how I'm mucking this okay. up this bad. Uh, maybe, sir, if I tried the bag of yours, maybe... Uh, you can try, but I suspect you'll run into the same sort of uh, tendency. Oh! I... Th I th oh, I see! There you go. There, there you, you go. Right. Yes. Right, I, I might just have a quick think in my head for a moment on the ride down. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just... Uh, I won't be long. Just thinking... Is adorable, isn't he, Abdul? Mm. I think I've adopted another person. I think you might have. I've been told I do that a lot—that I adopt random people and have them on the back of my horses for stuff. You don't tend to threaten them, which is much better than Bruna ever does. Did. Yeah, I don't kidnap people nope. most of the time. I try not to. Okay, I so I see. Aside from like once, I don't think I've ever really kidnapped anyone. You have to dis—you mm -hmm. have to turn off PVP. People just go with you willingly if you ask them nice enough. Oftentimes, and don't yes. and don't pose a physical threat to them. Why are we headed towards Van Horn? Or are you just going to the road here? We're we're going to roads. What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Have they rebuilt Van Horn? It's always been like this. No, this is the one that the, uh, the people were in that were shot at you that, uh... Yeah, it's oh. always been like that. What do you mean? Oh, God, I'd be, ne I'd be nervous to find out, Saint. Yeah. It? No, it, it... I don't think the fire damaged it too badly. Mm. Oh, dear. I don't think I've ever actually been out this way. <laughs> I pressed no. Probably a good thing he's not paying attention. Huh? Mr. Groves. Probably a good thing he's not paying attention. Yeah. Always a little nerve wracking when you go with someone and they go, well, where we are going, we don't need roads. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I was just thinking about food. Here's your tobacco. Ah! Come on. Pick some of it. And then when you got the tobacco, you want to sort of go into your satchel with them mm -hmm. and, you know, grind it up. Uh, 
Oh, uh, how do I do that? <laughs> so, you know, you're looking in your satchel and you're thinking you want to be a, a little crafty. Ah. Anyway, you just got to think where your money is. Oh. You just got to you know, put your tobacco leaves in there and just raft them up. Ah. Ah, yes. Oh, and then straight into the pot. <coughs> ah, simple as that. Mm -hmm. I'll never want to leave. <laughs> well, I suppose you shall have to at some point. You can't really eat tobacco. Oh, wonderful. I'll have there. to keep some at hand. I love just, you know, between jo jobs, just having a bit of a puff on the old pipe to relax. Oh, certainly. Well, the nice thing is you can fit about 40 leaves or, coincidentally, about 40 pipe bowls worth of tobacco in your uh, in an individual pocket there. Oh, very good. Well, look, I was really hoping to just, you know, get down and do some ranch chores, but maybe I'll spend the afternoon uh, picking some tobacco so that I'm good oh, for, you, I for a couple of days. If, uh, if you get bored of it, you decide to. The town of Rhodes is just over that hill behind you. Oh, yes, I might have a, a casual job opening until I get in touch with the transit authority to uh i may be uh, giving out baths soon oh hmm. working at the cat house yes oh, oh. not bad i've uh i believe i've sent a uh a telegram to uh miss kitty yes, I, know. I go there every tuesday to get their tacos i've heard taco tuesday sounds splendid yes my telegram's xt985 Xylophone trumpet 985. One well, second, let me just get one. XT 985. Yes. And that was Hades. That's me. Wonderful. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, mine is, uh, if, it, if you happen to need it, uh, VM 808. I will forget that, so you must send me a telegram with your telegram sometime. Not a problem. <laughs> Thank you both very much. Be well, Mr. Groves. See you next time. <laughs> that was very nice of them. Scratch mouth and smoke. What? Have a bit of a ponder. Thinking about the wall. Yes. Adjust pipe. Oh, yeah. Adjust pipe two. Scratch face. Swat flum a lot of a a lot of emotes were just smoking the old pipe. <laughs> yes. See? Indeed. Indubitably. All right. Extra points for being a, a British man acquired. Well, 
Guess we'll kill some time. Gather some tobacco. Jolly good. <laughs> and then we'll be able to smoke the pipe regularly. And, and then that's good. That was a good chill way of learning how to craft because I was unsure of that. So it's good. I'm learning, learning lots. Learning all the things. Oh no, it's Hammer. <laughs> Mrs. Phenom, this is not how I saw <coughs> today's session going. Oh, what did you do today in uh, Wild RP? Oh, you know, gathered 100,000 leaves of tobacco. <laughs> what is that emote? Chewbacca. Oh, it's global. I've never seen that before. Chewy. Chewy? if I'd say it's sad because he had a long a long fruitful life but very sad to hear about the passing of um <coughs> James L. Jones <coughs> but he had a wonderful career some iconic roles like voicing Darth Vader and Mufasa alone <coughs> absolutely iconic What a voice, though. How much is too much?
Sun's coming up. Might be a good time to walk back into roads. <clears throat> Simple as that. Well, I picked a lot more than I thought I did. <laughs> it's been very kind that a lot of people, you know, as soon as they learn that I'm new or that, you know, a bug's happened or something, that they... They're very generous. I don't think I've made any money from a job yet. I just keep getting money from players because they're like, oh, you, you tried. <laughs> Howdy, Hammer. Howdy, Hammer. Okay, so yeah, it's a stack of 40 grounded up tobacco. We're going to be smoking the pipe forever. Look at this hammer. I've already been given two cans of beans. It's a sign. No, I was like, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What devilry is this? <laughs> Excuse me. This is a tobacco making stream. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, the seven stream streak is still good. That's right, yeah, you're up to like 60. Oh man. That's right, and I know you're gonna you're gonna get your streaming your streak back with consecutive days of streaming as well, so easy. Now you would yeah, dude hammer, I was like I couldn't believe it. I was like, is that many is that how many times I've streamed? What? That's so that's a hell of an achievement. Oh god, Steve. I if I ever, if I ever become, if I ever become a, um, a, an ASMR streamer, you have permission, you have my permission to slap me. <clears throat> Never! <laughs> All right, let's walk on, let's get back to roads. <laughs> Let's see about getting a cheap horse, because now we've technically been taught how to ride a horse. Maybe someone will come along and give us a ride. We'll hitchhike. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> Hello! Jolly good! <laughs>
It's been fun. It's been a fun session. Um, looking forward to playing some more uh, Space Marine 2. Um, keep leveling up the uh, with the operations and such. Um... Might be having dinner with a friend and his family tonight. Should be uh, spending the day with them tomorrow as well. So sh should be a, a nice weekend. Good day! I think that's an NPC. <laughs> the arm at the side. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, see? Yes. Go down to the stable. Jolly good. this guy's deal good day oh goodness are you all right there sir <laughs> well I, i've been better i've been better what what the bloody hell happened uh well i i get i fell on four bullets yesterday fell on them i mean I didn't exactly fall on them. They fell out of somebody's gun, I suppose, into me. What the? Why? Why? Why did they want to shoot you? Um. I mean, that's a you know, I guess a matter of perspective. I think the my from my perspective, they got overinflated ego. Well, it's just one person. He he's got an overinflated ego, and uh, he's a coward. Decides to uh, settle disputes with guns. Did you Shot manage me right to... over there, right in front of the sheriff's station? In front of the sheriff's station. Yeah. Goodness. So I imagine they came straight to your aid. There was no one there. There were medics, thank God, but no, there's no sheriff. So I don't. Oh. Oh, was this just before? Hey, you know. Um, just before. Or, is, or have you been nursing these wounds for a couple of days now? Oh, well, yeah, this happened last night, so, and I've been just resting in my apartment, you know, high on whatever the fuck the medics gave me, trying to, to man, but, uh, yeah, no, it was last night, and I just, uh, I, I think I reported, look, to be honest with you, I was really high on a lot of things, alcohol and morphine together after that, so I don't really remember everything that happened. Well, I imagine, would, yeah, getting shot four times, would memory would get a little hazy. You know, yeah, it did. I'm not. I I remember something maybe about like maybe placing a bounty on somebody on the guy that shot me. I need to figure that out for uh, 
Something bad happens. Do you think he's going to pass through roads here soon? The gentleman in question that shot me? Shit, I, you know, I imagine not. I think that, that you know, the town folk aren't super happy with him shooting me there on the streets and leaving me for dead for doing nothing more than, you know, saying things to him. Yeah, hey, so I imagine that's it's pretty frowned upon, just shooting someone in the middle of the street, like, like you said, like a coward. Yeah, yeah, I, I would imagine it's relatively frowned upon, you know? I think that the sheriffs probably aren't super happy with that, and, <laughs> and frankly, you know, there's even scarier people than the sheriffs in the crossing. Um, scarier than the look, sheriffs? I, you know, you know, sheriffs don't like to kill people if they can avoid it. Well, I mean, between you and me, maybe they actually do, but... Oh, I don't know. But I'm just saying. Who are we to know? Out there that, right. You know, I'm. And everyone's different. Look, I don't want to paint it for everyone in a group with the same brush. I think that's unfair. But anyway, you know, yes. Thank you for asking. Um, I, Hopefully I'm going to live. I think I can walk. But uh, would some tobacco help? Some tobacco, you say? Yeah, I've just um, come from the I tobacco field. I've got a hell of a lot of grounded up tobacco on me. Do you? What are you? Are you making uh, cigars or cigarettes or something? Oh, just just to smoke in my pipe when I'm when I'm bored. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, right on. Have I met you before? What's your name? Uh, no, I'm very new to to country. Uh, my name's Albert Groves. Albert Groves. A hey, pleasure to meet you. My name is Bugsy. Bugsy Big Rock. I'm uh, I'm a local here to Rhodes and a friend to most. Unless oh, well, they, you, you know, shoot me. Well, I can see yeah, someone's, you know, they're going through a bit of pain, a bit of discomfort, you know, and I've got an excess amount of grounded up tobacco. At least I can do is share it around with someone in need of it. Uh, how, how would I... What uh, you know, I appreciate it. What muscle would I flex to hand that over to you? You know, so I got... My satchel is completely full of fruits and vegetables, um, so I couldn't even take some from you if I wanted to. Uh, oh, and that's honestly, a I don't smoke a ton. Um, I would, you know, I would try to... Maybe do some jobs or something with that. How long you been in the crossing? Oh, uh, just a couple of days. Okay, all right. You you kind of remind me of somebody named Reginald uh, Reggie Regington, I think, but he's much more like fancy, uh, you know, city folk from I I don't know where he's from. Maybe the UK or something like that. Well, I, I came from London, so usually I usually I'm dressed okay. a lot more sophisticated. But uh, some people were making comments and thinking, "Why are you doing ranch chores dressed like that?" I thought, "Well, I do bloody well everything in this outfit." So, so I went and bought myself uh, this uh, fancy uh, ranch outfit, which is a bit more fitting, I think. Well, it's certainly more durable, I imagine. Yes, well, they well, were all concerned about okay. my getting uh, my uh, white shirt dirty. And I told them uh, there was no intention of doing any bloody rolling around in any mud. I was the, the determination to remain upright, but you know, you've got to be careful. So, well, you know, when one of the things, ranch work is extremely profitable. I'll I'll fully admit that. I, uh, I find myself doing plenty of ranch work. Well, I can't do any fucking work right now. Well, but, it, I'm... You know, I've seen how profitable it can be, and I was doing a smashing job at it. The next thing I know, they've run out of chicken feed. Oh, okay. Completely I out of chicken feed? Well, I just, I've tried, I've had a nap. I've, uh, I've ripped no up shit. previous job sheets. And, uh, yeah, I, okay. I, I, I'm under the impression that there will be no more chicken feed until after the next storm. Oh, Lord, okay. That's interesting, I haven't actually encountered anybody with that specific issue before. Well, I, I go up to the and, barrel where they usually keep it, and it just for whatever yeah. reason, I just cannot uh, start the activity, no matter how hard I try. And this is definitely at the Rat Ranch? Yes, yeah, the, the job was assigned okay. to Emerald Ranch, and that is indeed where I was trying to grab some chicken feed. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, because that's really going to fuck you in a lot of ways, ain't it? Yes! I was really looking forward to making a bit of dough. Uh, this afternoon, well, but uh, I guess I can certainly. I mean, look, I'm a man with uh, one of the things I specialize in is in information, uh, and I'm happy to provide uh, free information to newcomers to the crossing. Um, you know what I would suggest for you, sir, is uh, mining up in Annisburg and getting coal and doing the missions up there. You oh, can make is. a fuckload of money, and you can also get gems. 
which you can sell to somebody like the like Delaney down there in uh, San Denis for like 15% over market value. I suppose that's a good idea. I'd like to just kill a little bit of time and... Uh... Yeah, I'm not looking to make a fortune yet. I'm, my dream is to become a train conductor, but I've got to kill a bit of time oh, until then. So, uh, so I, okay. I just get, I guess I go buy a pickaxe, head up to the mines, and just go from there. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah, I mean, let me see. Uh, it is very, it is honestly straightforward. Okay, so I can give you some advice. So, oh, hold on here. Our, um, mining is really. Uh, it, uh, some people think it's tedious, but I think it's very relaxing because you don't have to like concentrate on it like the other jobs, you know, like a farm where you got to run around, feed the animals, shoot the sheep, milk the cows. You just kind of look for a nice spot in the mine that looks like it has some, some nice ore in it. And uh, you just start mining. You can just hum a tune in your head or, you know, whatever you got going on. Um, it is nice to do with multiple people. But, uh, you know, I'd be, honestly, it's not that far. I'd be happy to just take you up there and show you what's what. You got enough money and everything? Yeah, I, I imagine, uh, unless it's a really, really fancy pickaxe, I should be able to no. afford one. <laughs> I think you can get one right over here. Well, yes, if it's no trouble. No, I'd be, you know, if I don't have to walk, I can ride my horse. I mean, I can walk, obviously, but I don't want to walk all the way to fucking Hannesburg. So, yeah, see if they can sell a pickaxe there. Let me have a let me have a gander. Is that Tolga? Really, hug? That's the quiz. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, am I going mad? Like pickaxe? Yeah. Shovel. Sledgehammer. Am I... Am I going a little mad? Gem cutter, rake, farming hoe, broom. Ah! I'm not going mad, am I? It's I, it definitely seems to be nothing on the pickaxe. Okay, all right then. Um, let's see here. You know what? Actually, I think I might even have an extra one somewhere. Uh, let me look in my apartment. You're welcome to come over here. They, they, I think they might sell it at the freight depot instead. Oh or yes. They, they might just not sell it at that general store. Uh, but I do remember having multiple ones here. Uh, my apartment's room 110. 110. Yeah, actor! You're like, what is this? Why, hello there, sir. Come on in! Oh no, the game crashed! Uh oh! Oh good heavens! Oh no! The bloody game's crashed! Dare oh dare! He's like waiting in there with a gun. Come on in here, you stupid idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna rob ya! Looks like the spider's called himself a fly. <laughs> I might wait outside. Hey, Sokra! I can't believe you've done this. How dare you! Hey, Yon. What the bloody hell? Goodness gracious! Hey! Ah, hey, Eddie! Ah, oh, hitting us with the good day. Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Actor, how could you? Acra and Sok Acra and Sokra. Actor and Sokra, you need to think about what you've done. I can't believe this. <laughs> also, Eddie, I'm working my way through um I'm watching your latest um 
the Battle for Middle Earth 2 video. Good, good to see a new one up. Right, Shadow Facts! Right! <laughs> We built the new farm! <laughs> Farm's ready! <laughs> I fought a, a, a ride for Rohan or a, a battle for Gondor! Hello! Hope that guy's still there. I didn't, I didn't, did I get his name? I don't think I even got his name. Hello? Are you still in there? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey oh. there, friend. Sorry, oh, I have... Uh... No, no, no need to apologize. I imagine you ran into a, an issue there. Make sure to knock on the door or you uh, could have a horrible headache. I oh, I see. That. All right, uh, to Ansberg? Yeah. Yeah, you okay? Yes, no, I'm completely fine. Just a little bit right. shocked. I got, yeah, knocked, the, knocked my head with the door. Days. Yep, yep, that sure happens. Them doors slam real fucking hard sometimes. It's all right. Um, let's see. Uh, do you have still uh, inventory full of, or a satchel full of, um, uh, uh, tobacco? Or do you, need a, do you need to drop it off or something somewhere? Uh, oh, look, I wouldn't be opposed to dropping it off at the St. Denis Bank, but no pressure. Well, you can, uh, you know, all, all banks share, uh, uh, slot so you can drop it off. At the oh, that's bank very efficient. Like. Well, yeah, I wouldn't mind just putting some away because yeah, yeah. I'm carrying an awful lot. That's a ridiculous yeah. amount. You will quickly, <coughs> excuse me, quickly come to uh, realize that uh, the most valuable thing in the crossing is uh, storage space. Ah, uh, yes. That's why them, them wagons ah. have like 15 slots or $20,000. Oh, I'd love to have one of those one day. I'll, I'll just be one Shoot. minute. Do 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 ba 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 Wow, yeah, I really, I, yeah. Yeah, I think I've got enough, uh, ground up tobacco on me for a while, hey. I think, I think I'm good. All righty, ready to go. Okay. I definitely need to check my telegrams because I just woke up, but uh, I will take you up there and come back here. I'll set you, make sure to set you up. I really uh, appreciate it. Uh, what was your name again, yeah, friend? No my, my name's Bugsy. Bugsy, Bugsy that's right. Yes, yes, yes. And you told yes, me there's so a fellow that you I remind you of, a, a Mr. Reginald. Yeah, there's a, well, there's a gentleman that's also from the UK. It's got a similar mustache as you. I don't think you, it, you don't remind me of him so much as, uh, it kind of look, you kind of look like him wearing slightly different clothes, you know? I see. Well, I'll keep an eye out for this, this fellow. Yeah, he's got like a more, uh, how do you put it? Like, like royalty kind of personality. Uh, like, oh, I'm so, you know, my name is Reggie Reggington Hall, you know? One of those upper class I mean, fellows. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. more working class back in London. Yeah, working class family. And yeah, nothing against, you know, upper class folks or anything. I'm just, just making an observation. Oh, of course, of course. You know, some, some are lovely. Some can be, they can be really pushing it. Yes, indeed. And it's literally like, get down off your high horse. It went literally. Sometimes figuratively, figuratively and literally at the same time. Oh, more often than you would, you'd think. So, uh, sorry to just cut you off there. So, a couple things about mining. There's actually two mines very close. If you look at your map, you know where Annisburg is, obviously, I imagine. And you could probably find the mine there very easily because it's a huge commercial mine, right? 
Right. But then there's another mine. Do you see the Elysian pool there? Right, right beneath where it says Annisburg. Nice little pond. Oh yes. Right. So at the very north of that, where you see that river or that creek running into it, there's actually a waterfall, and you can go behind the waterfall, and that's a gold mine. So the one I'll sh well, I can even show you both before I head back. But the one in Annisburg is you get mostly coal, and then you can find some gemstones. The one in Elysian Pool is you it's mostly gold and flint, and that's like worth more just to sell to the store. So the coal missions are very, very lucrative, but you generally do need to rent a wagon to do those. Versus the Elysian Pool, where you'll be able to just sell the gold directly, and you also get gems from now on, probably a few more gems. So until I've rented a or bought a larger wagon, I should probably stick to the Elysian Pools. Well, the wag wagons are really easy to rent. You know, it's about, let's just say, like a 117 bucks for an 8-slot wagon, or like 100 bucks for a 5-slot wagon, right? So each slot you can put a crate in, and uh, you don't, you can actually carry a lot of coal on your person in your satchel, but the re deliveries re like require you to put it in a crate and drop it off, right? I you see, get, yes. And the crates you, you get, get from the freight? The oh my god! Yeah. Right from the freight, you get it. And that person is hooking or booking. Um, so the thing is, though, you can get you can get missions that are like deliver six crates of twenty coal each. So you just need hundred and twenty coal, which will take you maybe an hour, hour and a half, you know. But each drop off is like hundred and sixty dollars. So you just multiply hundred and sixty times six. Oh, and that's two hours doing it. Yeah, that's a and far you can make lot a more. A lot of money. Ah, oh, okay. Right, so you can do that, or the gold mine. And why don't I, let's see, where am I on the map here? Ansberg's real easy to find, so why don't I just take you to the gold mine? Uh, you will definitely want a lantern, though. Do you have a lantern? I do not. Okay, let's see, where's the general? There's General Stern playing horn. So we'll just go to Van Horn. Probably get a uh, pickaxe there too, I imagine. That'd be Van good. Van Horn's a bit of a rough city, just so you know that, but sure we'll be fine. Right, I won't look at anyone a bit too strangely. Yeah, you know, most of the time you extend respect and I'll extend it to you. Most of the time. You know, sometimes that's not the case, of course. I've been very fortunate I haven't run into any... Uh... <laughs> Anything like that yet? The oh, most I've had is uh, earlier uh, some a pair of uh, some siblings uh, played a prank on me and moved my wagon. Okay, well, hey, as long as they're just uh, playing prank on you. Yeah, it's just an innocent prank, but my my heart was racing. I'm thinking, what are you doing with that? They said, oh, they they made up that it was against the law that uh, you couldn't just leave oh. wagons around. I'm thinking, what? On whose authority? Okay. And then, yeah, they revealed it was a prank, which was relieving. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're just teasing. Tee-hee-ha-ha. -ha. Right. I thought I've only been here a couple of days, and I'm already in trouble with God knows who, but it was all right. Somehow I've never been in trouble with, well, I mean, I already got the shot me yesterday, but that wasn't really trouble. He was just a fucking asshole. Does this asshole have a name? Uh, sure, yeah. I'm going to... His name is uh, Weston Hall. All right, I'll keep, if I run into him, I'll behave. Yeah, I wouldn't say anything to him. Basically, a big misunderstanding tur turned into him uh, beating me up and then trying to kill me. Uh, oh. It was pretty bad. Yeah. He didn't like it when I told him I have a lot of friends across the cross and he'll be hearing from me in the future. Oh. Oh, dear. When word would travel fast. Hey, I didn't, you know, I didn't uh, say I was going to kill him or anything. It's just that he should tread carefully, which is fat. Uh, you know, everyone should tread carefully. Sometimes my mouth gets the better of me, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm a good person, so, you know, whatever. Um, let's see. Where's the dang pickaxe? I don't see one. But buy a lantern. You got enough money for that, I, I hope. Yes. Okay. But yeah, no sign of a pickaxe anywhere. Yeah, now I'm, I'm trying to remember where the fuck you get a pickaxe at. 
Maybe you're right. Maybe hard. it is at the, the freight depot. I checked the one in Rhodes while you were having a headache, and I didn't see shit. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Hold on a second. Let me see if I can walk faster here. Are you all right? No rush. I'm not in a rush. I don't want you hurting yourself. Well, I mean, shit, I'll try it out. That feels all right. I mean, I do have willow bark, and they gave me some... Well, they didn't... I have some opium, and... Opium? Too bad, to be honest. What's that? Uh, opium? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can get a really good opium around here. Oh, wait, my horse is over there. I forgot. See, my brain's a little fucked up still. Well, we can try the freight depot here. Uh, where else would we try? That is it. And there is no freight depot here, so we gotta go Annisburg anyway. I do have a pickaxe on me, and worst comes to worst, I'll just give you that one. Whatever works for you. It's it, any help is appreciated. So you got a lantern now, yeah? I do have a lantern, yes. Okay, excellent. So uh, let's go to Annisburg first. I'll just show you the coal mine, which you probably it's I don't even know if I need to show it to you. But uh, but I will, so you know exactly where it is. I've never been up this way yet. I, before today, oh, no? it's really okay. just uh, I just been between. Uh, uh, Saint Denis and Valentine. Okay, wait. There's a person running down there in the road or on the ground. What are they doing? Oh, they're just—they don't have their horse, so they're running to the uh, horse stables over there. Those no stables, Annisburg. I only just learned how to ride earlier today, and uh, hopefully I'll go oh. get my uh, first horse soon. It's just back in London, oh, yeah, no we shit. would walk everywhere or just get a carriage. I, we didn't ride horses like here. Oh, that's interesting. I guess, yeah, it's a lot more comfortable to ride a carriage. It is. It is, but I just, I'm just trying to fit in a bit. Let me check the job board here, see if there's anything good. Oh, wait, there you go. The crates of 30 coal each to six locations, $200. Per delivery that's uh as you twelve hundred dollars almost right there wow that's that's a pretty there's penny a, yeah there's the the 20 coal to six location for 141 each that's a lot of money too and then there's one like see the one on the top left SCTA oh you probably can you not see right now so on the top left there's one that's just delivered 20 coal and you don't actually need a crate for that one that might be a good one for me to start with. Yeah, the, so just so you know, the, like the less... Let me let me uh, say this properly. So if you pick a job with like deliver six crates, you know, it's going to be a lot more profitable per coal versus if you just deliver 20. Yes. And you can, you can deliver the 20 in a crate and then cancel the rest of the five other locations, right? You just have to wait half an hour. So you can still get like way more money. You'll see it's like 80 versus 140 dollars. 20 coal. Ah, yes, I see now what you, you mean. You do have to buy the crate, and it's $20 a crate, but it's still $40 more profit to get a crate and do 20 coal like that. Anyway, just so you know that. Yes? Yeah, make sure you're getting a profit. Yes, exactly. Uh, let me check my telegram real quick here. I hope I don't have 400 <laughs> Sad face. Oh, that's good information to know. Uh, one other thing, you can do ice deliveries. I actually just got a telegram saying desperate need of ice out there at the Plucky Cactus and Armadillo. Oh yeah, I've heard about this Armadillo. Yeah, oh yeah. You've never been out there either, huh? No, never. I imagine it's uh, a bit rough for an Englishman to be in such a hot fucking climate. I'm there. definitely not in a rush to get out there. I imagine. Can you come over here, horse? Please. I don't know why you're being strange, but come on. 
Come on, Claudia. Oh, hold on a second there. She needs to... Come on, darling. There we go. Okay, all right. So hop on there. So the main mine here is up this way. And you can just go to where all the lights is and the big buildings up here, right? You can't forget it. If you if you forget where this is, you're crazy. Because there's also two entrances to it. Oh, yeah. You know, this, yeah. Seems pretty obvious where the mine entrance is. Yep. All right. So there's one. Here's the other. It's pretty big underground, but there's exit signs, etc., etc. So I, I would definitely recommend doing these jobs. Like I said, I, I'm like personally, I made thousands of dollars from that. And then I'm gonna take you to the cool one. Oh wait, shit! You don't have a horse. So no, but I'm currently renting a a single seat wagon. Okay, but you have to get a wagon at the wagon depot to do that. All right, here's what we'll do. So you know how to ride a horse then? Oh, you figured it out? Somebody teach you earlier today? Uh, very basically, yes. Okay. Shit, I keep forgetting there's no goddamn bank up here either, so I can't even buy you a horse. Oh no, don't worry. Um, uh, uh, the, the siblings that played the prank on me uh, gave me some money to get a horse, so I should be... Okay. I should be okay. Well, then we're going to go do that right now, and it's not because I want to force you to get a horse. It's because where I'm taking you, you're going to need a horse to get out of there in, in any kind of speed. You know what I mean? God, yeah. Don't want to walk everywhere. No, and no, you definitely don't want to do that. And Annisburg's kind of a shithole, to be honest. I, I can't imagine you're going to want to, like, stick around and hang out up here. Van Horn's even more of a shithole. All right, there's the stables in here. Oh, yes. All right, let's see what we've got. How much money? Uh, how much money do they give you? A uh, hundred dollars. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's good. You can get a decent horse for that. Not the cheapest one. Um. Oh, I don't know. Probably just a hundred dollar one for now. Or maybe a cheap one, just so I got some extra money. Maybe just a Kentucky sad lettuce. I'm just gonna refill my water. Buttermilk. What to call it? Maybe just that. Um, uh, uh, let's see. What are my notes? My notes? My notes? Maybe. So I had it where he. I. I found out that yeah, there was like. Four-wheeled luggage-carrying wagons back in England during this time, and the four-wheel slow one was nicknamed a growler. So let's do that.
once you're done selecting your horse, make sure to make it a favorite. By, uh, you know, putting a check mark in that star next to its name. Yeah, that'll do. Right. And then, uh, do I just, uh, I, I just whistle for it? Yep. But, uh, just... Uh, advice I would try to do it outside of buildings and away from them as much as possible because sometimes your horse will get a smart idea to like jump inside a building or get stuck in the roof for some reason don't know how they do that one ah there we go. are wait come here first give you this so if you want to trade by the way you think alternatively and you look at somebody and you'll see the way to uh, think alternatively so there you go. There's your pickaxe for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I invest in people, you know? All right. So. Secret gold mine now. Which uh, I would recommend for you just for now, just so you can get some money in your pocket. You can directly sell all that gold for three bucks each or something. You also get flint, which you can sell. Oh, yes. That'd be, that'd be fine for today. Yeah, plus you can find more gems up there, which you need. If you find any gems, if you telegram me, I will polish them for you or buy them from you. Right, hold on to gems and get a hold of you. Yeah, if you can do that, I I'd be happy to buy any gems out there. <laughs> oh, pardon? I'm having a little trouble hearing you back here. Okay, let me speak up there. All right. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to buy gems. Slightly over general store prices. I'll keep that in mind. You can sell uh, like a ruby to the general store for I think like thirty bucks. A uh, sapphire for thirty-five or thirty-six bucks. A diamond for like fifty bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, but you, but you have a you have a real need for them. You say. Oh! No, oh, everybody's gonna have a hobby. Sure, you know, I mean, I sell them most of the time, frankly. But, uh, you know, criminal types do like to keep gems on hand so they can use them in barters, you know, when they get, when they get deeply in debt at this state. I see. Why, I am not a criminal myself, I just, you know, Oh, of course not! No, no, it... Well, a lot of people assume I'm a criminal, or the pot or something. I don't, actually, I don't know why people think I'm People can be quiet. They're quick to judge. Yeah, I think it's a lot of projection, to be honest with you. And stereotypes and that is, it's not here. good. Yeah, no kidding, right? I'm just a good king, just a cowboy, really. This is, this is also my favorite. Is this the waterfall you're speaking of? Yeah, so you can just actually hit your horse up on one of these trees right there. Oops, sorry. All right. And then grab your pickaxe and put your lantern on your belt, just so it you can you know use the light from it, because it can get extremely dark. Oh, uh, how do I, uh, how do I Just get put it on your belt? Just on my belt. You'll see there's like a spot to hang ah. on. There you go. You can also put it in your hand, you know. But you don't need to. Oh, I see. 
yeah, it's just, it's just, it provides enough light. So, that's why it's kind of neat and secret. You just go in here. And you can probably imagine why you would need a lantern in here. Oh, good, yeah, good luck finding anything in here without oh, one. All right, that's a tough one, my, my chest here. Unfortunately, that's going to place you're going to have to walk up. There you go. So, yeah, all, you know, like, all this is pyrite and gold and quartz in the walls here. One really nice thing, too, is that you can drink this water in the ground. It doesn't taste great, but I think it's mostly algae. That's why it's orange, not because it's, like, it's poisonous or anything. You can even refill your water bottle here. Oh, goodness. Uh, and how would I... A, a, a dumb question. Uh, no, no, no. How would right, I yeah. uh, use my pickaxe? Right, not a dumb question at all. So you're going to want to think alternatively and just kind of... Here's what I do. I go along the walls, basically like this. Oh, speed, how right? do I so put it on my belt? You don't need to. Oh. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a tool like that. So right in front of me, I can see myself. There's a little spot. Oh, and yes, I see I a good a spot. Pickaxe on me. Yep, right, you got it. There you go. That's all you got to do, man. Just chip away. Just chip away. And that's what I'm saying. It's, this is like the nicest, most relaxing way to make money. It's not quite as fast in terms of like you complete a job in 20 minutes and you get paid 150 bucks, but uh, it's, it's nice and rewarding, and especially when you get one of them gems. In this mine, you can get diamonds sapphires and rubies oh well it's just it's just to get me started while i wait for telegrams about you know the the transit authority and right just, yeah that's just great. so i got got some food and uh roof over my head and whatnot so it's all right it's a humble beginnings well you could certainly sleep in here if times got tough too you know this is a big mine by the way so yeah, you can just do that. You can do exactly what you did all along the walls here. Watch out! This is a bottomless pit on the right here. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, never go on. I never go over there. <sighs> right. But just uh, <laughs> that's what I'm taking you up here. If you just get past that little bit, watch out for the bats. And, you know, like, see, there's tons of water in here. You can sleep it's dry in certain spots. Anyway, this is kind of the coolest part of the whole mine. It's hard to see, but it's basically a giant underground natural amphitheater cave. System. Goodness. Oh, yes, yeah, so I can see the light coming in through the hole up there. Yes, yeah, so, right. You can see how big it is down here, right? There's actually another series of caves. There's a bunch of uh, Native American paintings up there, too. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, if you uh, if you look up on the right side, there's a bunch of Native American cave paintings, and then on the left side, there's a little tunnel you can go in, and there's more mine. And if you want to like maybe come here and not let everyone know you're here, you know, if you want to do it privately. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more. All right. Um, I think if you just hop over this. Ugh. Oh, it's like a herd of, um, I don't know, what is that? A herd of, uh... Yeah, those are a buffalo or a bison. Ah. Oh, there's a note here. Yeah, this is a, one of the neat little, uh, kind of hidden spots in the crossing. Because you can't really see it from down there unless you, and you can't get up here unless you hop across that rock. So oh, yes. To live too. What's the note say? Uh, it's, uh, two black handprints, and it just says, uh, J plus F. Oh, that's uh, romantic. Yes, I suppose maybe they didn't have a knife to carve that into a tree. Yeah, well, you know, this might last longer. I mean, who knows how old these paintings are? They could be thousands of years old. Far yes. Than I know. Oh, here you can get a great view of it too. Not that it's more light coming in, so you can see how big it is. And this is all natural. Oh. All natural, yeah, due to erosion or whatever, I guess. Um, I would like to have an, have an event here sometime, like. You could even do a play or something down here. Oh, yes. So speaking of, I'm uh, attending the uh, open auditions at the theater tomorrow morning. Oh, no kidding with the Mosers, huh? I believe so. Would that be at the St. Denis Theater? Yeah, they're the only 
theater troupe I know of. I was thinking about auditioning, but I just wasn't able to commit the, the times at the moment, but maybe in the future. Yes, I'm, I'm not sure I'll be able to commit either, but I thought I'd go along, see what it's about. Um, never know. No, you absolutely should. And, hey, it's a great way to get to know people. Uh, Cooper and Ripley are uh, the Mosers, and they're uh, they're good people. Or you know, they can be a little strange, but I mean, so can we all. Yes. Ow. So I mean, imagine that, right? The audience could all stand up here on all these various platforms, so everyone can see. And then you can have like the actors down here or down here, and then of course you have stage left, stage right, or vice versa. So you can like do cha you know costume changes back there. Yes. No, I can see it. Yeah, you should. That's a brilliant it's, idea. It's also gorgeous down here. Yes, well, especially if the, yeah. the the story has something to do with I don't know the in nature or something. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, anyway, so yeah, you can mine anywhere in here, like this entire big area. You can find mining spots down these tunnels, down the one on the right. If you keep going, by the way, uh, well, we can just go. I'll show you the whole cave. Line. It's not that big. Wait, is this not the right way? Shit, just the right way. I think we have to go up here a little bit. You can mine all over, like, sometimes, like, right even here. Yeah, there's a spot right there. Well, that's good. There's a lot to go around if, say, mining was very popular on a certain day. Yeah. Um, okay. I actually don't, can't remember which. It's. I think it's up there. You climb up there. I really can't do all that climbing in my condition. Right no, now, of but... course. No, we don't want you to go hurting yourself. Yeah, oh, that's right. I'll, I'll stick uh, around here, do a little bit of mining, maybe have a little look around. Just always remember, it's really easy to find once you know where this place is. Just the Elysian Pool right at the north place right there. Um, and you do get Flint also, and there are almost never any jobs out here for Flint. But if you go to Valentine or Strawberry, it'll be like 120 bucks for 20 Flint. So you can always save up some of that, take it out there, and, you know, like 120 bucks. And if I'm not... Uh doing a a, a, a job uh, where do i sell the gold and such to gold you just sell directly to the general store for three bucks each general you store nice, right nice, yeah nice chunks of like gold and granite and i mean not granite uh, gold and uh, uh quartz crystal in here uh so yeah but everything you can get from here is uh gold chunks flint uh diamonds rubies and sapphires all right. Oh, well, let's see what I can find. Thank you very much, Bugsy. Yeah, you're very welcome. And one more thing, if you basically just to let you know about gems, there's I would guess from my experience, it's roughly like a one in one hundred chance of actually finding a gem when you're looking for when you're breaking chipping out rock, right? So there, you know, you mine a hundred times and you should find one stone, but you can find like three or none or or more. Who knows? You know, I mean, shit. I knew a guy came into crossing. Fifteen minutes later, I was showing him how to mine, and fifty minutes after that, he had three three gems in his pocket. Oh, hopefully my luck is just as uh, just as good. Well, I wish you uh, the best of luck. Remind me your name again. And actually, let's trade telegrams before you leave. Albert here. Groves. And my uh, my my telegram number is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Sorry, one second here. Okay, Albert Groves, and go ahead. VM eight zero eight. Ah, I like that. That's actually a, uh, a easy to remember number too. It is and then uh, Bugsy, what was yours? Yeah, mine. So Bugsy uh, and I am JJ two nine seven. JJ two nine seven. Oh, yep. very good. Yeah, um, pleasure. Uh, and, you know, like I said, if you want to sell some gems or something, let me know. Uh, yes, I will. Yes, any gems I find, I will save and I'll get a hold of you. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'll, I'll ab absolutely happily buy those up. Uh, and honestly, nothing else you need to look out for in here other than uh, people coming and pestering you. But uh, everyone I've met in here is real friendly. Mostly newer folks that are like, oh, you know, I, I heard there was a mine here and I was looking to try it out. 
Oh, yes, everyone's been lovely so far. Looking forward to more. Most people are very lovely. I, I, I like this place very much. Uh, except some people who shoot you if you say the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think that's probably good. I ran into you so that I don't go running my mouth or something. Yeah, I can, you know, I know I shouldn't be running my mouth. Sometimes I still can't help it. I am. I believe in, you know, justice and, uh, you know, treat people fairly and, and equally. And uh, other people don't. We'll just say that. No, I, I, I know where you're coming from. Well, I, I hope you have a good luck, mine. Um, Thank you very much again, yeah, Bugsy. I hope you find a hundred gems hit in the, uh, right now. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> we'll and, uh, see. Yeah, feel free to ask me any other questions in Telegram. So, uh, I live in Rhodes, so if I see you around, I'll see you around. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Thank you again. All right. You're welcome. Take care. Farewell. Very helpful. I, thought, I swear I saw a node there. Brog, when are you doing more Kingdom Under Fire? Ye old mining. What's that? Just a bit of rock? Oh, gold chunk. Wow. What? Some of these nodes are a little tricky. But when I get closer, I can't see the node. Sometimes when I hold down the alt key, it's not showing me the... The things, like, it's like, okay, yeah, I saw it, but now I won't, now I can't. It's just not showing up now. You must be closer to do that. Yeah, but... Yeah, but then when I get... I think I'm getting the hang of it. Become one with the wall. Just want to get some some gold, mate. Get a bit, just, just so I can say I earned a little bit of money today.
<laughs> Squid. God damn it. <laughs> Can't drink. You're a miner. Badoomch. Give me gold! I love gold! A little bit nervous in this spot with the, the abyss. I love gold! Dylan, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner! Do, 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 do. Give me that sweet, sweet gold. Bup, 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 bup. Eat the rat. Mmm, yummy. I require sustenance. Oh, I think that's busted. Because it looks like you don't get the uh, the the thing if you don't if the animation doesn't happen. Oh, frog, you still there? I did learn how Tolga plays on this server. He also plays, uh, um, the guy that was showing me the mining and that. Oh, you heard all that? That might come across him at some point. Was it Reggie, Reggie, Reggington or something? That's funny.
I am facing the object. <laughs> A little temperamental. I keep missing the nodes. Like, by the time I see the node, it's too late. You gotta do your own uh, mining mining sound effects. Like, ooh, 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 here, ow, here, ooh. Corpse has the tying of poison apple sound effects. Ah, oh, that's me. You can do that for mining. Yeah. Ooh. Clunk. Clunk. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> Let's get some gold fever. I love mining. I'll do a little bit of mining just to just to see how much money you get from it. I'd much rather be doing the ranch jobs. Did the Emerald Ranch chicken things broken and I think it's my fault. <laughs> I've ruined it. I broke it. Broke the chicken food. Precious. Oh, oh no. Not the chicken food. Oh yes, precious. I'll talk the chicken food for yourself! <laughs> but I just thought, maybe, like, even though the Emerald Ranch chicken thing's not working, maybe, um... Maybe helping the animals at another ranch is, is working. No. Fine. I didn't even know there was another cyberpunk game. I'll never go back and finish cyberpunk. Never! Damn that game to hell. <laughs> Bunch of lion. Oh, it's a series. Oh. Right. Do 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 do
Alexa, play the Morrowind theme. Now playing the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind theme. <clears throat> Stream it from the event? What? Oh, they got a booth where you can try the game and you can stream it? Interesting. That's an interesting way to show off a game. It's good because then it's like, well, people at the event can see it and then people online can see it, like you do it all in one go. Oh, these nodes, man. Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, Frog. How many, um, how many Ubisoft games have you streamed this year? <laughs> I just I see a bunch of people on the Ubisoft creator program and I'm like but when when do you play Ubisoft games though? Prince of Prince of what? <laughs> <laughs> Like, the only person I've seen that, like, out of people like, I know, like, know of that does them regularly is Zombies Love Bacon. Where he would, he was, I saw him doing, like, uh, Skull and Bones, like, we at least weekly. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. But other people are like, when do you play Ubisoft games? Why are you in the program? In the nicest way possible. I'm mainly being cheeky. Do 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 Oh uh No gems It seems I am not the chosen one Oh, fuck. I missed it. I don't think I've ever... Wait, no. I lie. I have played Rayman. I played... Uh... 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 One of the... Oh, God. I say new, but this was probably like 10 years ago. Uh, one of those, like, pretty-looking 2D ones. Rayman... Cyan. I was like, that's pretty cool. I just want Ghost Recon and Splinter Cell to be good again. If they could just not ruin those, that'd be nice. That would be appreciated.
G'day, Nips. Hello, hello, hello. G'day, mate. How you going? How you going? Outlaws looks all right. Like, it doesn't look like it's amazing, but it is, like, but everyone that's like, oh, it's trash. I'm like, it doesn't look trash. It just doesn't look like, just doesn't look like a 10 out of 10, but it looks fun enough. Like, I'll probably get it when it's on, like, a big sale. But it's like, I can't believe it. I just, I just, I didn't have, like, a lot of the time when there's, like, a new Star Wars game, I'm like, must play it. But this time I was like, I'm going to wait. Is that being an adult? <laughs> Instead, spends money on the Dead Rising remake. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going all right, Nips. I am going all right. I was, I was on a bit of a break um, for about a month or two um, for a bit there, but I've been getting back into the old streaming thanks to Space Marine 2 because it's just a fucking fun game to play. And then I've now started dipping my toes back into the Red Dead RP. I'm um, trying a new server just to see if it fits just to see if it fits me better. Um, and I'm enjoying it so far. Bit of a slow burn. I'm just... It'd be good when I get, like, a train job or something. So I don't have to... Mine. <laughs> You're good? Glad to hear it? Impulse buy everything? Oh, ugh, the I can be really bad at that. But I was definitely like... I was like, I definitely want to play Space Marine 2. Definitely want to get my money's worth out of that. And then I feel a little dirty, but I did... I have pre-ordered the, the Dead... What is it it's called? The Dead Rising... Something remake? Like, they already did, like, a remaster, but then they've done it again where now there's, like, a fresh coat of paint on it. Like, I don't even... I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what the fuck they've done. Um, but I was like, fuck it, I'll give it a go. Because, like, I really enjoyed... I really enjoyed Dead Rising 1 and 2. Uh, I, I thought 3 was alright. Um, I didn't touch four. I was like, I'm not. I don't believe in this soft reboot bullshit. This is this is not right. I was like, nah, nah. I'm not touching four. But what, I'll play one again. As scuffed as it is, um, I'll see how I find it. So I've got that pre-order. So I'll stream that. Uh, when's that? Next week. The frog curse is real. The frog curse is real. It f fucking. But I'm glad. I'm glad you're well, Nips. Sorry, I never got back to you about. Um. Because yeah, we had you lined up to be a potential fourth for uh, Iron Brigade runs, but um, I just did a couple more. Uh, solo categories. Um, and I haven't... We haven't done any more co-op runs since. Like, I did one with Frog. I did one with Madzy. Wait, did I do... No, well, yeah, we did a three-player one. Frog, Madzy, and I. And then Frog and I did a two-player one. And then I did a two-player one with, uh, one of the American players. And we got a... We actually... We actually got sub three hours, which was like, Whoa! No way! Um, I still want to do a two two player run with Madzy, and yeah, and like maybe later this year or next year, like I would love to do a four player run, like with Frog, Madzy, and you if you're still down. All good, man. Like breaks are important, and look, it's the Iron Brigade speed runs that can wait. Whenever we get round to it. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
How much have I got? Oh, oh no, we got a sapphire and a ruby. Well, we'll save that. I'll do one more. I'll save those for, um... For old Bugsy. It's important to take breaks. Well, when you can. Like, I can take a break from streaming, I can take a break from online gaming, I can take a break from Red Dead RP, but... Like everything in life, there's some things you just can't take a break from. So I tr do what I can. Alright, ten, ten flint, ten gold chunks, that sounds alright. We'll, we'll go to the store and see... See what that's like, and then we'll store the, um... Swim, little fella. We'll store the the gems away. Do, 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 do. And maybe I'll go see if I can do something at another ranch. My horse is still here. What a relief. Alright, where's the... Um... Well, we'll go to the general store here. And then we'll go over to, um, Hamlin Ranch and see if we can find a, uh, a, a simple ranch job at one of the other ranches and see if that works. I would just love to hear back about a transit authority job. Like, getting to the point where I can really just do lots of, like, stuff with the trains would be awesome. That'd be so exciting. This wagon just left here. What a dump. Is that a player?
Van Horn, it could be a player, it could be an NPC. Who, f <laughs> who fucking knows? All right, how's this work? So for 10, 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. And Flint, 10, 10 bucks. Ugh. How much do these sell for? 12. And 10. Yeah, I'll save those for Bugsy. I think that's the first money I've made myself. $82 is like $450 million in today's money. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> to the ranch. Away we go. Show us the meaning of haste. Fly, Shadow Fax. Wow, I ran right into that, didn't I? <laughs> I couldn't have aimed more for it if I tried. I still don't have a knife or a gun or anything.
Alright, something at... Emerald, Emerald. McLean's Ranch. Where's that? Maybe just that one. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Uh, Where is it? McLean's Ranch. Where is that? The McFarlane's? Pronghorn? It's got to be near here, though, right? Oh, there. I can't remember what it looks like. Nothing is coming to mind. I don't re remember this place at all. Or is this player created? Hey, and manure. Nice and simple. Where's the gate? Oh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. There and then here.
Where am I taking this? Oh. Over there. Ooh. Piece of cake. Down from there, you son of a bitch. Oh. How many more? Two more hay, st hay bales to go. Piece of cake. Stop standing on it. In the house again? No. Uh oh. Where's this one go? Ah. Oh dear. What a piece of junk. Now the manure. Where there? Aha. Right. Let's do it. Then in the wheelbarrow. That's one. Holy shit. That's one of 20. This is some, um, this is some pro gamer gameplay. 
What's the uh, what's the speedrun world record for this? My mate, um, I was just been thinking. My mate Barbosa, Barbosa online. Uh, he raided me the other night. It made me think. I'm like, why hasn't he done Red Dead RP or GTA RP? Like, he actually is an actor. Like, he'd be so good. I don't know if he's... I can't remember if he's ever actually played Red Dead Redemption 2. But I'm like, why doesn't he... He... Should give it a go. He'd be... He'd kill it. Never take your work home with you. That is fair. Target acquired. It's actually it's kind of relaxing. <laughs> oh, I missed. I missed the wheelbarrow. I apologize. Sorry. Oh, he had an apple before. But yeah, I should probably, um, once this job is done. Oh my God, we actually, we finished it. We finished a ranch job for once. The first one. Finished one. Yeah, I should probably go buy some, um, some food and fill up the canteen and whatnot. Oh, let's fill up the canteen in the river. Oh, unless, can I fill it up at this? No. What about this nice bucket of water? Yes, this river looks nice. Oh yes, nom 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 nom. Get that in ya. That's right, no one has ever gotten sick drinking swamp water. <laughs> All right, let's, uh... Oh, there's some perfectly good water here. Wait, no. Uh, let's go buy some food. Um... Um...
Let's ride. Definitely, definitely deserves a smoko. After some hard yakka like that. You bloody bet. We're rich! Excellent. That should provide some food and comfort for a little while. So I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. But yeah, tomorrow morning at uh, 9 a.m. or 8 or something, um, I'll be jumping on for like an hour or two just to go to the, the theater auditions. So if anyone in Australian time is up really early, I will be around again. Just for a little bit. Um, so that way I can just focus on doing that. Is that... Who the fuck is... Is that a player in NBC? Is that guy like lost? Hello? I think it's an NPC. I was like, what's he doing in the bush? Is he waiting to jump someone? He's just an NPC probably with some weird pathing. had apples. Apples seem to be, you know, kept me going for a while and they seem pretty cheap. What were the other things? Like, they gave me some beans. Can you just, oh, just to stray out of the can. How much did that Because apples do, do food and hydration, which is the big bonus. Do 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 do. We'll have a look and see what the newspaper's like. Sledgehammer. Oh, your stacks of five. Surge hammer. Do do.
Oh. Albert. Hi, Albert. Oh, good day, Miss Hades. I have something for you, but we need to go down to the telegram station for it. Sure. Present for me. How is the horse treating you? Uh, not too bad. I think I'm getting the hang of it. What kind of horse did you get? What is that? I think I, I think it's just the Kentucky Saddler. Oh. There's something nice and simple. telegram for you. Well, uh -oh. a, a telegram number. Uh, I know someone, Victor Beckett. He is a senior transit officer, and he said that he would love to talk to you. Oh, what, uh, Victor... Was it Beckett? Beckett? Yes. And, yes, and, and what was the post ID? NK461. No kittens and four... Uh, no kittens 461. Perfect. Thank you very much for getting that for me. That will help out immensely. Mm -hmm. right. You should be on your way with that. Thank you very much. I'll do that right there, right there, right now. It's very nice of her. Wow. Is it like a senior member or something? It seemed like it was just very good timing because uh, I rocked up to the bank and her horse was already um, parked outside. It was very fortunate. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Yo, Big C. I am. I'm trying out a... This is my second session trying out a... <coughs> a new server. What's mine again? <laughs> Bye. 
VM eight zero eight. <clears throat> All right. That's another telegram sent <laughs> about the transit authority. Let's write the other ones down. Bugsy, JJ297. We've also got Hades, XT985. Who else have we got met today? We've got in the Another one I didn't write down. <clears throat> That's the notes for now. Hopefully, hopefully I receive a telegram about those things soon. Or is it just at the same place? I swear I've seen there's like a tailor and a change room or something. Or maybe I was mistaken. Bonjour. I'm walking here. Oh. No! 
<laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Uh. There it is. Oh. Hello? Is anybody using the, uh, the change room? Hello? Son of a bitch. I swear I saw... Was it Valentine? Yeah! I did, I did! I did tear putty tat! Do, 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 do. Sledgehammer. Do, 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 do. Bonsoir, monsieur. Where is it exactly? Is it in the theater? Yeah, it's, it's like their change room. Oh, maybe it's only when shows are on, like, you gotta go... Cause you gotta go actually backstage. Oop. I don't think it's currently... Oh! I just wanted to get changed.
the hell is that laughing? Bonsoir, monsieur. Wow. I see what they mean. Yeah, storage space. Yeah. Oh my god. Actually made a bit of a bit of a profit today. Goodness gracious. Mister? Excuse me. <laughs> Coming through. Jolly good. Quiet, indeed. Indubitably. What, what? All right. Whew. That will do. That will do for now because I need I I need a break.